Warning and disclaimer for all audiences, Anime Circuit is an audio podcast containing mature language, possible spoilers, and opinions that are not your own. Enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Good Enough Podcast. Your, ah, fuck. The yeah, Good yeah, Enough yeah, Podcast. The good enough podcast. <laughs> we're, we're a great podcast. <laughs> all right. I don't know what you're talking about. We are the team that makes up Anime Circuit. I am your host, Drake. With me, I have my other host, Will. I'm the other host. Yeah, he's the other host. He's, 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 but, but because he's like the other consistent host, he's, he's, he's more important than, than the guest. Hey, guess what? Fuck you. By the way, my name is Miles. I am the the guest guest host or maybe someone that you might want to pay attention to at some point in time because I might be coming back. Someone has a high opinion of themselves. Uh, he's, he's getting ahead of himself. It's like I didn't. I never said that. It's like you could like fucking join us. Well, guess what? Too late now. I make these decisions. You can't. You can't stop me. Wow. <laughs> I could. I should pretty sure Drake is like the creator of the group and can get whatever he wants. I, I can. I can fucking start these calls whenever I want. I can do this podcast on my own, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how are we gonna start this? Or what uh, are we starting with? <laughs> all right um yeah all right so okay basically uh, b- before we get into yawamushi pedal uh i, w- I, w- I want to say a couple things um akin to the stuff we're not watching uh first mm-hmm. of all one ruby world of remnant still are the best episodes of that whole fucking series. True. I, I'd agree. It's a lot of background that's been needed in the uh, Ruby universe. It's, it's They're just cool. Like, actually cool, actually dark, actually full of, like, lore and mythology. It's, 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 it's everything that it's, like, I kind of, like, was expecting Ruby to be, but then it wasn't because it's high school antics. Yay! Yeah. Um, also, I talked about how I probably wasn't going to watch Shirobako. I think I might have incentive now, considering, like... Why? Considering, like, PA Works kind of, like, is, 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 like, borrowing, like, real identities to, to, like, feature in that anime, and so I think it might be kind of fun to try mm. to find people. That's no reason to <laughs> sit through Shirobako. And then, I've sat through two episodes, and I hate, I've hated both of them. Um, and also, uh, oh. I started... Celestial Method or Sorano Method, finally, and, and I'm gonna put it on hold because it's <laughs> like I, 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 it's like it hit me real hard when I watched this first episode. I was like, you know what, Solo was really, really fucking slow, and it like, and and, and like you watched it to be rewarded for your patience with the end, right? I feel like this is gonna be the same thing since it's the same writer because this first episode was holy shit, fucking slow, and it was also really fucking moe, oh, yeah, was slow. which which also like freaked me out. But oh god, now I have to watch it. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, it, I mean, it was like good Moe because it wasn't like slice of life Moe. It was, it was like Moe with like an actual like mystery to it. Plot. Yeah. It's just the characters were Moe, and everyone had like Moe personalities. Like there was like the one girl who like couldn't push like the it was like the dinosaur through like the door, and I was like, why yeah. can't you just turn it? Why can't you just turn it sideways? It's a fucking cardboard cardboard yeah. cutout. Just, I don't know. That that bitch was weird. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> All right, there would be no podcast without you. I'm sorry if you feel so discriminated. I thought you said you could do it on your own, Drake. I just I can do it on my own, but it's like this is episode three. I should have an intro by now. You shouldn't just be the other guys. I just don't feel like doing an intro. Too much work. See, this is why you need. Mine were always the worst. <laughs> I don't feel like writing an intro. You don't have to write one, just because, come up with one. Because it's like, you know, impromptu is always more fun. Uh. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, um... Yowie Mushy Pedal, guys. Yep. Oh, Miles, yeah. that, Miles, that's the reason why you're fucking here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
because you were hyped for this shit, so why don't you start? Okay, so I actually started watching Yawapeta, as it's called on Crunchyroll's list. I don't... I wanted, <laughs> I wanted, to, I wanted to call this episode Yawapeta, but I'm not going to do it. Just no. So people don't think no. we're reviewing Boku no Pico. No, you cannot do that. <laughs> you cannot do that. The latest episode has way too much respect for you to do that. No! <laughs> well, I made that title before the latest episode. And you know what? One episode doesn't save a whole series, okay? That's like you're... Are you saying it's bad? No, I'm... No, I, I, just, I just think this, this show is just kind of on that... Too easy to make the joke? No, it's 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 on that level of, like, this is just kind of everything I expected. And is that a okay, bad yeah, thing? it's true. Yeah, is it a bad thing? Mm, I guess not. It was, <laughs> it was just there are... Just, the, the parts that I expected to bore me bored me, and the parts I expected to get excited excited me. So it's 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 above average, but but we'll get into the specifics later. Okay. So so Miles continue. All right. So I started watching Yellow Peta the day it aired, and ever since then it has just been whoop whoop hype train let's go, and hasn't stopped since for me. And I'm just imagining how awful <laughs> that must have been. Just like for uh, the inter high like. It's been ten weeks, and it's still day one. Well, you know what? <laughs> when will this end? Uh, at, for sports anime, I think that it's okay for me to watch it weekly, because even though it leaves you with a high tension at the end, it's not the super gigantic cliffhanger high tension all the time. Um, yeah. They Probably because it doesn't actually really take the time well. to make any. It just stops. At least it's not Akatsuki no Yona. Hey, Akatsuki right. no Yona didn't fucking end on a flash forward this week, alright? So that, that's a step up. Yeah, kind of did. Um, we'll get to it later. About that. Yeah, let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so you were hyped about this every week, right? So what'd you like yes. about it? Um, really, more than anything, I was really surprised at the writer's ability to turn this character turn the character around so quickly for um, Mito Suji and just put you on his side for not, the whole not this episode. not no, this no. week I mean the like oh. the whole series the first season <laughs> I first we season were talking about this one. Oh, for the no, first no, no. season no first no season. Where this is like a whole series review thing and then we go into to our weekly five if you want to add yeah. side notes later go ahead but okay like, get, okay get, you didn't tell me that shit <laughs> I thought we. I, I, you didn't tell him. I thought he had this formula figured out. He watched the first episode. No, I didn't. I watched what? like 15, 20 minutes, and I was like, "This is two hours. What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. You'll this, be here this, for both this of is them. What happens with the lack of communication? Exactly. And you'll be here for both of them. <sighs> okay. I don't know what that noise was. That was hey, you're, you're the third person. You might, you, you, you might extend it to even three hours. Oh god, no! I didn't I say that. Not I don't. I don't, I don't want this to be that long. Fuck! I have a bedtime. <laughs> I record this on a on like a night I work. Okay. <laughs> okay. So overall, I felt that the series is very well paced. Um, just like any sports anime out there, though. Um, gradual development with each of the characters. You get a bunch of background. I really enjoyed the fact, the way that they revealed the backgrounds for a lot of the characters. Um, <clears throat> freaking, I can't remember any of the characters' names. I, 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 I know where you're getting it. And, and, and also, thankfully, I have a wiki open. This is... Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> opening the wiki, so give me a sec. Jeez. You guys are bad with names. I am terrible with names. Well, when you get Shunsuke, Shokichi, and Shingo... All at the same and Sakamichi all at the same time. It's kind of hard to remember. Sorry. <laughs> Just go off the one name that they go by in the series. It's easy. Well, um, you don't miles like were there, were there like specific characters you wanted to say or something? Um, no, not really. Uh, I just remember really getting into the series even more when I went ahead and read a little bit of the manga and I gotta say they stepped up the art in the anime quite a bit 
Like well, I looked. Manga, at, I looked. I looked at some of the manga. The already, manga right? has like when you're reading it, it has the same effect that you get um, in the anime. Like that same feeling of, yes, this is happening. We're actually of get hype. We're, we're getting somewhere. We're going places, and that's a really I mean, good thing for this they type are. of anime. They're writing books. I, I don't. Yes. I don't know where the, <laughs> does this show. Does this show, like, intend on going anywhere after the inter-high? Yes, like... it does. Um, there's actually supposed to be a college arc, I believe. That's... It's gonna be weird. All right. like, in, in fact, I think we are like supposed a to be skip. seeing that um, this season, I want to say. Uh, that'll be weird. Yeah, like, I, 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 thought, like... I thought, considering, like, it's already been, like, a full... Like, it, like it, it was easily... Like over a full core in and of itself, like the inner high, like just I thought like just the second season is just gonna be like literally just like the end of like the second day and then and then and then, and then like the third the third day the third day is just gonna be over fucking just the whole fucking show. Well, well, the second day is over now. Well, pretty much in like the next three episodes because they gotta get everyone over the finish line, but that's for later. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Well. I, I know Will said, or I don't know, I don't remember Will said, but he, but he says that he was gonna watch this show anyways. So yeah, it was. So I, I so I picked it to to take a little bit of a load off him, and I wanted a sports anime series anyways because I wanted to, I wanted to try something sportsy because I really really liked Cross Manage as a manga when it was coming out in Shonen Jump, got prematurely canceled unfortunately, but I was. I wanted to give the sports genre a chance because I know that when I was reading Cross Manage, I wasn't really getting actually that much of like a. It was a sports manga, but it wasn't really the sports manga of the of the typicalness, because it was one, the main character was the manager, not a player, and two, the series was more so a romance between the manager and a player with just lacrosse sprinkled in. Um, was it lacrosse? Yes. That sounds yeah. weird. So, so nonetheless, so when I so my first time getting into not getting into, but the first time I got exposed to a sports series was was watching Prince of Tennis on Toonami. I think that was everyone's. And I fucking hated. I didn't watch it. I fucking it. hated it. I was I was like, this show's <laughs> the dumbest piece of sh- fuck it. I wasn't even a critic yet, so I didn't I couldn't compare it to actual bad stuff. <laughs> but like. It's like when I was watching it as a child, I was like, "This, this is not tennis at all." You, who, what, what fucking game goes to like two hundred points? I don't get it. And like this guy. Wait, it went to two hundred points. What? There, I don't there, remember that shit. <laughs> there were games that got ridiculous. Oh my god. Well, I didn't I, really I think, watch I past might, like I might, twelve I might episodes. Be, I might be exaggerating, but um, but like, yeah, like, shit got weird sometimes in that fucking anime. I think, oh. I think, I think. I th- and and so anyway so and and so this anime i i expected some things to happen like i expected it to get kind of shonen-y with like its bicycling elements and it did that at times oh yeah it did it was, i was like i was A like this guy just, this guy completely actually went ko ken or like <laughs> or like abu abu like he actually like oh, God. went around him into the like the shape of a spear and he was the best character. Or that like show. there was, I don't remember. He named his abs. I, just, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> and talked to <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, he named his abs. He was amazing. Really no, he didn't name his abs. Andy he named and Frank. His pecs. The thing, the, the, the thing that like Andy and Frank the thing that actually like got me the most though was, was, was the weirdest piece of shit, and, and it's always me to it, Suji, who, who does who does the weirdest shit. And I I don't. You scream out gross. I don't. I don't, I don't remember if this was season one or two. Because season two has only just started, so I'm getting them kind of confused. Um, with with like near the end of season one, it's all the fucking second race. Uh, but like the, the the moment where like Mino Shuji is riding so close to the ground that he's like scraping like his elbows and knees and like even his chin. That and, that's and, second and, season. Yeah. They yeah, haven't remember that one. And and fucking um. And fucking Kinjo, it's 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 like he like compliments him. On like reducing his own skin to to have less weight and be more aerodynamic, and I'm like, what? 
Uh, I don't think he said that specifically. That I think he's just weird. like saying he's reducing everything around him. He's making himself more aerodynamic the way he's shaping his body and hitting the road. <laughs> no, seriously, Mitosuji is freaking weird. He is. <laughs> like, if he wasn't just like Orochimaru, I, he'd be a better character. You like, only finished. You only. You only finished. You only finished game. season one. You didn't. You didn't get his backstory. He. Yeah. He doesn't. Be, he doesn't become. Oh my I don't, god. I, he doesn't that become. Story. He doesn't oh. become better. Like he's still a fucking psychopath that I just want to like fucking just punch in the face. But <laughs> it's it's least I can I can respect him for a episode. All right. Like, and mm. I look forward to seeing where his character goes from here. But I still don't like him at the start. I like that's. That's that's something that's not going to change. Well, they, they uh, something made it funny I way. saw on the Crunchy in the Crunchy episode discussion was, "What about Mito Suji? Just hit a bump when he's like doing weird stuff with his tongue. He just cut it off. Boom, he's useless. Yeah, he can't mess with anyone anymore. Yeah, it's like that. That got me. That, no, the tongue no, thing weirded he, me out. And the tongue thing of like, dude, he, ate, he ate bugs at one point. He did, didn't he? Just yeah, a bug. he yeah, he had a bug like a frog. It was. It was it was the strangest thing, especially <laughs> for a series that has characters that are kind of normal. Realistic normal, down yeah. Down. <laughs> Except for Makishima and his hair. Yeah, and the Makishima human bullet and... train. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> Tadakura was awesome. He he, he kind of was awesome, and and, I, and I'm glad like not every character was 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 like made to to be like so to to, to be so powerful like like. Title Kuro, like, did admit that, yeah, like, he pushed himself too far day one. He's getting to him. This, yeah. It, um. That was kind of amazing. When he got back up to the pack. It was the best, one of the best scenes it, I've ever seen and, in And, and like, so, like, the characters had weaknesses. Not everyone won. Like, I liked, I liked Makishima yeah. lo- losing yes, to Toto. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I want you to win, but at the same time, I feel, like, really weird if you won every event. It was, like... But then there are times yep. where it's like I, I felt like characters got gypped, like when we had the race between Mito Suji and Shinkai. I really wanted yeah. Shinkai to win. Yeah, he should have won because it was it was like it was in all fairness like it was his victory. He won. Yeah, it, he, he, and Mito Suji cheated. He won. Mito Suji cheated. He threw his bike forward. Like it reminded me of the moment like when I was like really young and watching Yu Gi Oh and like you had that duel between Joey and Merrick. It's like Merrick was the main villain, so he was so like. Yeah, course, and Joey was so, about to fucking so, win. So, of and course, then like, Merrick yeah. has to, like, has no! to win. But even though Joey, Joey <laughs> technically won that game. Yeah. He won that game. Like, it's just, it was so contrived. It was so contrived that he, like, he had to fall unconscious. That is... He got struck by lightning, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Wasn't that what that it was? episode was so fucked lightning. up in so many ways. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was something along the lines of, like, being attacked by, like, the winged dragon of Raw itself, like, directly. And then he just... And then he just didn't have the energy to get back up from the attack. Yeah. It was, but it was, it was it was so ridiculous. Like that was that was Shinkai's victory. I thought it got a little weird at the end when he like activated like his like supposed demon form and like he too got like the red like beady eyes and like the tongue sticking out yeah. thing. And I was like, I was like, where did the, where, the where, demon where did, is a straight like, line? Just, like they said you're a demon, but like this this still really came out of nowhere. I wasn't prepared for what I was about to get into. I wasn't prepared to. to be an actual demon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get the nicknames like Kinger was like the. St- Snake of the Stone Path or whatever. That was his nickname because he would, he wouldn't let anyone pass him, and if you did, he'd track you down. And, and, and something that got that that got kind of weird for like, me was, was was was, was seeing like uh, just the entire like Hatone. I think those are what they're called, like the school. Hakone. Yeah, ha- like Hakone. Like like their school just all of a sudden becoming like, like of, of like far greater focus than than our main characters. Like yeah, like that, like that's like like that weird. six. Like, like, even like in, in the, like, like the, like, like the ending credits, like the third ending sequence, like they're the ones that was sung by, by that team, and and they got the end card, and they did, yeah, like, like if you if you look at like the final panel, it's it's like them and like in a formation, you know, and I was yeah. I was like, there's 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 yeah. so much focus on these guys, um, like the, the all of a sudden the show has become about them, and honestly I don't mind that because it's like a part about them, like a part of them, like I find to be more fun to to experience. Yeah, they were they were a lot of fun to watch. Seriously, like because it's like, like the best character. Because like of our main characters, I only ever really had fun with Onoda. Like like when Onoda when it, when it was time for him to like 
race past like 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 the hundred men in three minutes. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, ride the gutter, fucking do it. I dare yeah, you. And then like, he did. And I was like, yeah. He rode the gutter like. Singing the entire time. Yes. That was amazing. Dude. When he fucking like sung the song with Tidal Coral, I was like, "Yes, that was that was, that the, was, only so time, that was anime. the only time I didn't find the song annoying whatsoever." Like I was, yeah, <laughs> I was, I was actually loving it. That was the, one of the best things I've ever I've ever watched. Yes, go go go! And just it's just hearing this big brute just be like, "Hey man, hey man!" Suki, 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 up and he's they're going up the hill. I thought a courage froze in to sing it. It's like, but there's no one to pass. Let's sing it anyway. It was like, and he was so against singing it earlier. And it it it's, it's kind of funny because like, even Imaizumi, you know, he was getting that song stuck in his yes. head during like the like all the like, like end. after yeah, credit scenes. I only saw it. like four of them. But you, you only saw four of them. What the I fuck? wasn't gonna watch they're them. All great. They're I didn't all so like, great. I, I had a schedule to keep. No, to, right? no. Imaizumi literally starts turning into an otaku. An otaku. He, I, I, yes, don't, it was great. I don't doubt it. He starts right? watching like, anime. And it's like, oh my god, yes. The the best one of those though, I have to say, what are the ones that involve Izumita and his pecs? Like, there's just one where he's lifting weights and just going abs, abs, abs. Like Manami comes up and starts going with him. And they both. Chanting abs, and then Toto comes up and just joins him. It's just three of them chanting abs, ups, and Arkita looks ups, at him like, ups. "I want a team with idiots." I'm like, I was dying laughing when I saw that. You know, actually, there was like, there was there was one, there was one scene where like he 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 said like thank you to somebody. I don't remember who. I I, I assume it was like Shinkai and like taking his place and trying to re- erase uh, Mido Suji. And then it's like he he like thanked him just by saying Abu, and I was like. So is, yeah. is this is this just your fucking like? Just, is is this a commonplace word for you? Is is, is this a is this is a standard part of your language? That's a bio. Probably. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh god, no. <laughs> We're not going there. Seriously, it, it's Desu. He named his his pecs. He named his pecs. How is he not the best character in the show? It was Andy and Frank. And Andy. Andy and Frank were Frank. the best characters in that show. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but okay. So I mean, like, basically, like we've been talking nothing about like the inner high though, because uh, it's like the inner high. Yeah, the yeah. inner high is definitely what's most miserable of this like show. Like the last eighteen episodes. Yeah, it's like the, the 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 last portion of this show and what it currently is right now is is fucking awesome. Yeah. How it started, not so well. Yeah, I liked it. Well, I it liked had it. a lot of focus on I thought Onoda, it, so I, I, I thought it had a lot of heart, and, and, and that's what I was enjoying about it. Like I, 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 I enjoyed the welcome race. It was kind of boring beforehand. Before that, Onoda was so annoying. Like, okay, I get it. You're a stereotypical otaku character. Like, like I really, I don't yeah, care. Get to the. I don't. Pricing. I don't like how how stereotypically otaku tend to get represented in anime. Onoda was that when he started racing like Imaizumi, I was. There, there was a lot of heart going into that race. I was having a lot of fun with it all of a sudden, but it's like they start singing. But like when they, but well, like when they stop to like talk about like the specific mechanics as to like bicycling. So it's like, here's why you need a better bike, or like here's why you need better pedals, or like here's why you need cleats. And I was, I was, I was far less interested because it's just I just wanted to watch a shonen. I, I wanted. That. I enjoy the type of stuff. That's every sports anime. They're gonna go into this. So I love baby steps. Yes, baby steps. So yeah, fucking baby steps. Good. Like, I know, and I expected is, it. Here's how you hit it. Here's how you did, like, like a tenth of an angle upwards. You hit it a tenth of an angle downwards. It's like, okay, this can take like an hour to figure out how to, hit it, how to swing it once, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I never really enjoyed that type of stuff, and I expected. And Drake, I ex- I'm not exaggerating. Or oh, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just like I've never enjoyed that type of stuff, and I expected, I expected that it was coming. Um, I think that's something I else, I guess, I guess I kind of liked about Cross Manage better was like when they when they stopped to explain like lacrosse rules, there was always someone to like butt in with like a pun or a joke or something like that, and it still made it entertaining because I always got to look forward to something like that. 
Um, here there was not that. Here there was like the second years, like going up to Onoda and man being, being like, "Oh man, like let's fix your bike for you." And I'm like, "All right, let's let's, let's take a moment out to do this." <laughs> and then and then like the camping trip oh, was God, that sort of dragging. The camping trip was the most was the worst part of this series for me. I thought it was so boring. I will. I enjoyed I will like, the first four episodes. The last part of the camping trip, the final episode. Basically, was the second years. The, the the backstory to the second years I thought was good, and the backstory was good. But like, it's like we get it. this is in three episodes. Yeah, I didn't. I'd, you guys I worked didn't together. like the race itself. We though. get that. I did not. Mm. I got I got really annoying. Also, can I just say Sugimoto is one of the most annoying characters in any anime series ever? Seriously. I'm an experienced writer. No, mm. you're not. You mm. can't do anything in yeah. the show. Oh, fuck Whatever. yeah, I hated him. At least they kind of, like, wrote him off, and he's now just a cheerleader oh, for, like, But, but he doesn't <laughs> cheer, seconds? though. Like, he's always pessimistic. He's like, oh, man, like, yeah. they can't come back. They can't win. And then everyone else is like, shut the fuck up. And then he's like, well, and but then... they won't win, though. And then everyone's like, everyone's still like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> then five minutes later, he's like, you guys can do it. It's like, shut up, Sugimoto. No one cares. They're just letting us know he's still character. a character. He That's all. <laughs> he's an experienced writer. You know that. He's, yeah, don't yeah. You? he's an experienced writer. That's 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 the one thing he has going for him, isn't it? <laughs> I saw God. in the comments on Crunchyroll, someone proposed a drinking game. Every time Sugimoto says "experienced writer" or "owner the sings the song," take a shot. He'll be dead in three episodes. Some, something that tends to also weird me out about most sports series. Um... I guess Cross Manager also didn't do this because this was like a girls lacrosse team, but it's like something that tends to weird me out is like just, just that one like lone female, always oh, oh, yeah. surrounded by like the like hot sweaty men in like in like in like that that van, you know. I'm just like I'm like, do you ever get like uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like I, I feel like I feel like this is this she's is in the fucking creeper van. And shit. <laughs> hey hey, at least the creeper, the creeper van, van is owned by her brother. I, I support this. I've seen enough anime to know why that's not reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> I, I expect. And, and what surprised me even more was, oh. was, 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 was like, I didn't I didn't think the series would, like, stoop this low because I always considered fan series kind of low. But it's like the third opening, when it had the boob jiggle in, I was like, we went there. Dude, it was one we shot. We went there. And it, it was yeah. one shot. It was one shot. And, and I, then that it, it, it made the third opening worth watching. And yeah, then like, the end card. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that kind of shocked me. I didn't see any of the end cards. The, the, yeah, the swimsuits were kind of ridiculous. Like, it was like, whoa, I did not expect that. Okay. It was like, <laughs> all right, coming in strong. Why don't we? Like, I know, like, Naruko made the joke, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, he made the joke. He made the joke about your boobs getting hilarious. bigger, but I didn't think we'd actually see it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It, that's that was almost as shocking as seeing the end card for Nisekoi that was done by the two lover artist. Oh my god, that was that Who's was that? shocking. The two lover artist. Hold on. Because um, I, I like screen capped all of the Nisekoi end cards because they were awesome. Like, I don't know which one you're thinking of. I, I will. I will <laughs> show you. Just give me a sec. I might have a good idea of the one, but I'm not sure. Uh huh. Well, you know, another, th another thing I had on my points was CG bikes. Um, I mean, it was well done CG, but... It was well done CG, and what was really weird, and, and, and this is something that strikes me as kind of odd about about the first and second season, is like, so the first season kind of has, like, decent CG, but it, it, but it, it sort of clashes with, like, the animation. It's... How do I put this? Like, 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 like they... Like they put they they put like a two D face on on the on the on the on the three D model. Yeah. Hey, but, at least it's the, it as bad but, as but the it, uh, other show. But it makes the transitions really awkward when when it's going yeah. between like CG to two D. And the second season, oh, yeah, do that the one. second season's <laughs> a little different because more often are they actually just doing full two D or full three D? But it makes the transition mm -hmm. easier. But it, it's at the same time it's a little drying. Like whenever time I, whenever I look at someone's body, I'm like, whoa! All of a sudden, you actually now have a full three D face. Uh, but it's like, it, well, but it, but it makes but it makes to. the transition into like two D animation easier though. I don't know how it blends so well, but it does. Like with that little change, it's hmm. it, it really really works. I, I can't tell you how, yeah. but it really yeah. really works. They they did it right. It's like whoa, you just got more budget. I see. <laughs> That's what they took a break, right? 
the typical split core, let's take a break and get more money. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, even though this was three core going into two core, so overall five core series with like fifty something episodes. No wait. Be like 60. Yeah, yeah, though, 60. 62 episodes. 62. Assuming that it's both 12 2 core series. It is. It's 24 episodes. 62 total. That's, that's a lot for riding bikes. Yeah, that's a lot for riding bikes, but I, it's, it's shonen. And they're shonen, looking to shonen, really shonen can, can get away with it. it so. If I didn't care about co- if we didn't care about copyright stuff, I just have um uh Queen in the background. The in- this entire segment. What? Oh, I'm looking at this nice Sigma picture. Queen. Yeah, I yeah. thought I thought this picture was came off kind of strong too. I was like, "What? Like this is a thing?" Yeah, I thought he's. I thought he's going to two lover artist. <laughs> so, well, I'm sure yeah. Will's enjoying that it's Onodera at least of all people. <laughs> Are you an Onodera fan? Yes. Oh man, I am on Team Yuine. So. Okay, she's. Yeah. Third, I think. Third? What do you mean? Third. Third best girl. No, no. <laughs> They're like eight at this point. Nope. Third is still yeah, fairly no, high ranked. Yui Ni is the best. <laughs> there is no 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 denying <laughs> this fact. Just accept it. Hashtag Let's team not turn Yui this into, into ship wars. <laughs> As I just go stand like over there somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, Andre, yeah, just go yeah, sit in the corner. You with your king of waifus tag <laughs> on Skype. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the, the one who gave did, myself that title, all right? This Why was do you fuck- still have it? <laughs> because it's funny. Like, just how, like, I have my fucking, like, kangaroo avatar, all right? Because it's, it's, it's memories. <laughs> memories. Oh, I got memories for you. Uh, remember all of the times when Phantom would say stupid things in Anacast? Mm, there's, there's kind of too many stupid things said by everyone to really keep track. Very, very true. There, my one of my favorite ones. You, why is this a picture? I'd fuck a ghost. I'd, I'd fuck a ghost. How very, very careful. Careful. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that was actually funny though. I thought you were talking about like in a podcast. I was like, I, oh, I was no. like, how do you? Sc- Phantom was not funny in podcast. How do you screen cap like a recording? No, I screen cap some of our chat logs, and then that one I just sent you, which you asked me for. This is this appearing act. Three, wow. two, one, vanish. Everyone leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Um. I-, I liked how Ono did, like, he's like, it-, it felt like it took him a while to develop, but it didn't, like, it was gradual, but, like, it felt like it did all at once. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, something I liked about, about Ono does, uh, about, uh, Ono does uh, development was... He never really backed out from a challenge, which that much I, w- I was happy about. So it's yeah. like when when Kinjo said, "Is like, oh, if you keep going, you know, it's like it's like the second you try to make it to that top of that hill, you'll pass out." And he's like, "I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm okay with that. My my goal is only so far, and as long as I can reach it, that's that's fine. Yeah. You know, it, and 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 so I'm, I'm I'm glad that it's like Honoda never like." let things get him down for too long cause yeah like he was in last place and he got to first well not really first but he got in, like near to first yeah like he, he, he in three minutes he, he got he got with his group in three minutes in just, three just minutes. for being creative and a badass on bicycles and riding the gutter yeah being a badass on bicycles yep Cause, Cause, that's 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 what you always have to take away from like sports anime, isn't it? It's like you're only a badass on one thing. Yeah. So so <laughs> so, 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 so it's like Fukutoma, He's like fight on the road, and then it's like every time like someone tries to fight with him, you know, like when like Araki fight on the road. Yeah, like when, like when Araki like first approached him, maybe when he was like still kind of like a school bully, he was like fight me on the road, my bike against your scooter. And I was like, <laughs> he beat him. All right, sure. I remember that part. Oh <laughs> he my was, God, that was he so lose good. a fist fight. He he would lose that fist fight. I'm now imagining Izumita in a fist fight and losing, because all he can do is ride bikes. <laughs> even even with Andy and Frank, he can't win, because it's like crippling over specialization. I just can't do it. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't matter how he, how ripped he is, he just can't. It's like my biceps have made me too stiff. <laughs> all my power is in my legs. Then he becomes Sanji. He skipped arm day. <laughs> 
so anyways, so yeah, uh, I'm positive about this series. I am hype as shit yeah. for this series. I, 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 I wouldn't go that far, but I'm a hype as shit for the current arc right now. But I still thought I got I still got thought I got off to a slow start, and when the inner high is over, don't know where, oh don't God. we don't know where it's gonna go. How is that gonna go? Yeah, like I, I don't no know how where it's gonna go. And in, in the second season right now, like in the opening is like is like a team we haven't introduced yet. And I'm like, all right, so what the fuck are we gonna do with these new characters? Yeah. Actually, thing I want to mention about the uh, about a, a trope in sports series, at, basically it's like graduation equals death. Like, is something I've heard a lot where it's like, if it's like set in high school and it's a team, it's like, they're graduating. It's basically like death in a, a normal series. It's like... Yeah, it's like, it's like I'm graduating, this is my unless, last race. Unless they're trying to go yeah. pro, that's, that's always death. Yeah, it's like, it, graduation equals death. Yeah, so I, see, the thing is, I don't, I don't understand like why not like actually go pro if you're supposed to be so damn good at it. Yeah, well, what I'm gonna say was, like the third years, it's like, I mean, they're awesome characters for what they were, but it's like, I didn't really feel any like bond with them, like I do with most characters in the show. Like, I want you to succeed. I'm like, I mean, you're awesome, but you don't really. No, I liked, I liked have the only anything. third year I ever got attached to at any point was Makishima. Yes, because yeah. he's like, he actually did things. Well, like, his background was. I fully am strong guy. Too. Well, I thought he also had like the most writing. Uh, I, I thought you like he had the most writing on at stake, you know, with the inner high. I mean, sort of like uh, like, 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 like like Kinjo and and Fukutomi kind of had that same rivalry going, but Makashima's and Toto's was just felt more. It felt like, real. It, it felt, it felt right. yeah. It, like, it felt more friendly because they were friends. Like like ish. like yeah like, like yeah they were friends ish and you know. And then I I took that to heart a lot more than when Kinjo and Fukutomi's race because Fukutomi cause, basically cause, cheating and throwing yeah them. because because this race between Kinjo and Fukutomi is really more or less nothing more than just an apo- an apology it's not even really revenge yeah, yeah. an apology it's, it's it's an apology not not really like this this built up challenge that 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 Makashima and Toto had going for themselves it's like the only one I would miss would be Makashima it's like he actually developed as a character. Like, from when he was like, he like hated Ono at the beginning. And then it's like, I like you, kid. You're not awful. Yeah. He's a climber. Yeah. Oh my which god, I, thought, which I, I thought someone which, that I can which, talk to. Yeah, which I thought was interesting enough. I'm, like, like, Onoda, like, him being the climber basically, you know, put him, like, in the middle of, like, all the races, you know? Because it's like, yeah. we'll start off on a sprint, and then we'll climb, and then we'll finish. And and so, like, it's it's kind of interesting not seeing, like, like the full stake of the race not resting on him. Like, like he's like yeah. he's not the main focus at the start. He's, he's not, not the, the ace. Mo- the ma- yeah, he's not the ace. Like, he's not, the mo- he's not even the ace's assistant. He's not the main focus at the end, you know? It's like, it's he's like, just the middle guy. He's, he's just the middle guy. And I was okay with that. I, I appreciated it about that, that it's like, it's not trying to build up this inexperienced rider as someone, like, more special like, than he is. Jesus. Yeah. As biking Jesus. Or also known as what Mormon tried to be. He does a lot of crazy shit, I mean, I will admit. <laughs> yeah. But I, th- but part of, but I think part of it is, doesn't just come from the fact that he's rode bikes for so long, but it's, it, all part it's of it. Perseverance. Part, part of it perseverance. Is, is perseverance, and also, like, Kinjo's training, I think. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Kinjo's, Kinjo's the best of the best, and so you know he probably put like Ona does through some of the best, best of the best courses for for this type of thing. Yeah. Um. One thing that like it made the uh, race between Toto and Makishima weird was like uh, Toto's voice actor Tetsuya Kakihara has like one volume setting, and that volume setting is called Natsu like him screaming the entire time I'm like can you stop screaming it's like there's no need for screaming yeah he voices Natsu in Fairy Tale, and all Natsu does is scream that's all he all he can voice act is screaming I haven't really watched Fairy Tale other than like the first episode <laughs> so 
Yeah. It's like that's all. Oh, that's your cocky hair. I can voice act screaming. Okay, so what do we all move right. on to now? <laughs> all right, so yeah, I guess I guess that just about covers it. Like, I, I had I had fun with it. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I give it an eight out of ten in the end. I don't think I have really rated it. Not a thing about <laughs> Did it. I rate it? Jesus, now I gotta look. Ugh. I'll I'll think about it. Hmm. Because, uh, it's the, 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 the some things about the series are are um. I are definitely probably going to ride on the second season because one season one just stopped so hard. Yeah. And and like and and I, and I never mentioned this, but 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 something that caught my attention and I know this did happen in season one, um, when when Midotsuji was racing, I don't remember who because he because he raced a few different people you know, um, throughout the course of like day one and two of the inner high, uh, there was one moment where he said, uh, something along the lines of like, like 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 I've like 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 I've lost too much to lose here or something like that or, or like or like like I've I've experienced more than you have uh, some something along the lines during one of his races and I was like oh so maybe we are gonna go back to it to get like a backstory for him and then from like the way he's the way he made it sound he made it sound like like this was still incredibly important to him regardless and and episode three the most recent episode this week which I guess consider it maybe a blessing that will and I didn't review it last week because it's like we because episode three of season two was actually quite a game changer. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be catching up to it this weekend. Oh my goodness! Because um, I finished season oh. one like three hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> I finished it three hours ago. <laughs> well, so. I don't, I don't blame you because it's like I had to save like Wixis for last, or because I know I wouldn't have fucking remembered Jack. No, I, it's not that I wouldn't have remembered it. It's just I was running out of time. It's like. So yeah, no more thirty-eight episode shows for uh, ever. <laughs> if we're doing any more two core shows, we're giving it two weeks to watch it. Yeah, it's like in two days I made sixteen episodes of progress. I'm like, I still have twelve more to go. It's like, <laughs> how long is this show? That's, that's all you got this, done? Come on, man. Th- this show. No bathroom breaks. Mm. No water breaks. You got to go through all the way, eighteen hours straight. You know, that's it's sixty weird. episodes done. <laughs> it's 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 weird. Actually, like this show felt I mean, that, fairy did tale. actually feel extremely slow for me at the beginning. I I can't tell you why. Like the beginning was very slow. The beginning was very slow. It was it was still fun. I liked it, but something about it was just just felt like it dragged. I mean, for like the first well, when you when maybe you like, started for watching the first, it, maybe like six episodes, I struggled. I really did, dude. Yeah, dude. Remember when you started watching it? You did it here at my house, and. That day was just a slow ass day here too. Well, I didn't start watching at your house. I was I I, 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 I already watched like the first two on my own. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. By the way, just so you people know, I know Miles in real life. Yeah. yeah. The, We're best pals. FYI. So there, there you, there you have that. <laughs> just in case any of you were curious, because I fucking because we brought up houses. Something I can't yeah. do with Will. Sorry, Will. I know you feel left out. The tears. Will's not the part tears. of BFF club. No. Sorry, Will. <laughs> but I want to be <laughs> in the BFF club. It'll never happen. Club. It'll never no. happen. Unless you decide to buy an airplane ticket and a okay. rental, oh, and get a rental car. Cause it don't fucking matter. I'm moving places. soon anyways, too. All right? So <laughs> getting the fuck out of Michigan within the next month. With my help. I hope that doesn't. I hope that doesn't slow down the podcast. Though I'd, I'd still love to get this out on a weekly basis. It'll probably slow down around Thanksgiving. How about unless you want to try your hand at editing? Yomacon, yeah. Well, Yomacon's on a weekend, so that's not really an issue. Oh, fucking lucky bastards! This fucking year, fucking Halloween's on a Friday. You lucky pieces of shit. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> What? You just like why are you what? like why kids are you that are going this? kids that are going trick or treating this year? It's on a Friday. You guys will get fucking high off your fucking candy staying up late. Fucking <laughs> 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 sugar rush central. Kids are gonna be flying around. I'm gonna go outside. And all the dogs are gonna be like three kids just fucking in the air flying like Load 
started. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? Why? What the fuck? <sighs> you lucky <What>? bastards! <laughs> <laughs> I think he had some repressed memories from when he was a kid Jesus and couldn't go trick or treating on a Friday. <laughs> so, so we're keeping that five minutes of laughing in, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it in. Too much work at it. Oh my god. So. Alright, so. I guess this would be a good time for a transition into Yona. No, 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 no. We have an order. We do this on a. We, we, oh. Our schedule is we do this by release order. Wickeross, Lock Horizon, Unlimited Blade, Work, Squirrel Trigger, Yona. In that order. Alright, so. So, <laughs> so selector spread Wickeross. Yes, Wickeross. I don't know anything um, about it, so I will. I, I, finally, I finally have. Sh yeah, Miles is. Miles, this is the one thing that Miles has not, has not seen. Um, so, this will just be me and Will. Uh, yep. I finally have shit to say. You finally remember who the characters are. Uh, not m not so much that, but let's g <sighs> let's go in that direction. Sure. Oh, uh, let's, let's pretend. Let's let's pretend I do. Let's pretend you know who these people are. Well, I mean, I, I recognize them by their face. <laughs> not the names. All right. Okay. So. So first of all, okay. One thing I wanted to, I wanted to say when this episode started, and like card god lady was like talking to like the cloud cat i was like it's like why did you need cloud cat to fucking talk to tama like <laughs> why was cloud cat a thing why why yeah why did cloud cat happen at all like i was just coming was... from an outside perspective these names are really fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> it was not actually called cloud cat we're just making and it was it not okay. actually card god lady all right it's just, it's just <laughs> these, these characters didn't have names yet As a matter of fact card god lady finally got her name this episode yeah yeah mayu is her yeah name? her name was mayu yeah. Uh, so the so the incest is still going on. I, I thought they were I thought they were gonna I thought they were gonna like drop that after like I after, mean, after like technically after, like, it's Yuzuki. not. It's uh it's, it's sort of. I can't remember the rig's name. It's um. I can't remember its name. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I have it open. I have it open. It's Hanayo. Oh, it was. Oh, I got it right. Yeah. All right. I guessed. So nonetheless, I mean, yeah, I like I know Hanayo is like in Yuzuki's body, but it's it, it doesn't matter, right? So I like the point is 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 like is like the incest subplot still going on, like the school yeah. still has the rumor about it and whatnot. I thought they were gonna drop it after like Yuzuki turned into a card because they weren't really focusing on it for like the first two episodes because it wasn't really important anymore. Yeah, it wasn't really important there either. Just to go, hey, she's still but, alive. But I'm glad they acknowledge it because I mean, yeah. it's 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 season two. So I mean, I mean, like, so, so at least at least say that what happened in season one was important, you know? Yeah. Um. Okay. So also something else I wanted to address was Mayu really really fucking sucks at like trying to convince people. Yes. So I'm so like, she's like she's like Ruko like you've been abandoned not Ruko Tama like you've been abandoned by Ruko like like she like she doesn't love you anymore blah 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 and like Tama's like no no she does and then like Mayu's like yeah 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 she does. Like totally, and I'm like, I'm like, you just, <laughs> you, you, like, you, you, you didn't even this. try, like, you just, you, just <laughs> you gave up after like, you were the worst like debater ever. You gave up after one go around, like, she hates you. No, she doesn't. Yeah, you're right. She doesn't hate you. So, so, you so, 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 because she, because she doesn't hate bad. you, like, I need to come up with like a new reason. Hmm. Ah, the, the, the outside is scary. And then, <laughs> yeah, and, it's like, and then, and then she, and then she started like, like. Like, actually, like, meaning it, like, as in, like, relating it to herself. She's like, hello, man, like, I'm so scared of the outside. Like, you shouldn't go, Tom, and be with me here forever. And I was, and I was like, hmm, so, like, this, this fucking, like, whiny bitch is, like, scared of the outside. Yep. I mean, how many times have I seen this? But the world's a, sc the world's a scary place, and I don't want to live in it. Humans are the real monsters. Yeah. The worst, uh, worst excuse for writing ever. War has Humans changed. Well, I mean, Parasite does it pretty well. Oh, yeah, but Parasite but, but Parasite's way more mature than fucking what this shit is. Not really. Well, I've this shows a fairly mature material. I, yeah, I mean this is this is mature, but it's like the thing is. Though its concept is weird. 
not exactly. I don't. I, just, I, don't, I don't think this. I've, it's. I, I I guess I I kind of like. Uh, yeah, I should I shouldn't be saying mature, but I I look at it as like this show's writing just being extremely weak, and therefore, mm-hmm. therefore I don't feel like I'm being tested all that much. I mean I mean even 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 like the stuff we're still left with a, like a lot of questions of. There's. It isn't foreshadowed really well. Like like stuff stuff just 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 kind of always like happens and if and if it doesn't just happen like you see it coming a mile away like I well, like, season like like season one had some good like, foreshadowing Tama belonging like to like Ulith I was I was like this no my quote why, my why are you holding on this like I already know it's that's the twist no what's what's funny is in my notes I have in the most predictable plot twist ever Tama is Ulith Br- Lreg yeah right it's so hard to pronounce oh did, were, were you reading um. Were, were you reading uh, like like Aki's fucking Twitter? No. Because say. because there was this one thing in English that like everyone that like everything was that everyone was replying to right, and and, and yeah. I couldn't I couldn't figure out what the fuck this said. Now now at first I read it at like at Aki Love Yuri though, and I was I was what? like Love Yuri what the fuck, and then, then like I had to look at it again. I was I was I was like oh okay okay Aki Lovely. And then like U R I T H O, and I was like, "What the?" I T H O. U R I T H O. What the fuck is that? Is 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 is, is like Uretho? Like your it ho? Like, <laughs> it's, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't make it out. Like I didn't. I didn't understand what the fuck I was looking at. <laughs> like Aki, weird. lovely U R I T H O. It's just fucking English. Whatever. Um. It's weird. Mm. Mm. And then, and then, and then, and then, beard stroking, <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> and then, fucking the L rigs once again are no fucking secret. Yeah, and it's like uh, it's like no one believes them. It's it's just it's just it's it's kind of ridiculous that it's like at the beginning of that series built up like L rigs as being something so special and something so rare and whatever, and everyone's fucking talking about them out in the open and like Aki even like puts like in the fucking. And in her Twitter feed like in, and in, news, in, in the newspaper and magazines and everything, it's like, oh man, like L rigs are like totally a thing. Come find me, <laughs> and I'm like, just this is like, just are people? Do you expect people not to think like you're fucking weird? You're are, insane. Are, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> this chick is crazy. Let's not go near her. This bitch is crazy. She's she was always crazy, but like now I think like her fans are gonna understand she that she's cards crazy. Cards talking and granting wishes. Yeah, let's not deal with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and 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 okay, fucking Hitoe said something that really like struck me though, and she was like, "What?" She was like, "Oh man, she looks like so much prettier right now than she did before." And I was like, "Bitch, let's stop right there." Because she's covering the scar. I was I was well, I was gonna say it's like these girls have never been pretty. No one in this show is fucking attractive. Let's get that out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the character designs are not flattering in that show. They have a they have a lot of like the screaming faces. And then, then, then this episode was a lot of like what the past two episodes have Crying. been. This entire it's 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 more fucking Ruko running around being I don't want to fight I don't want to fight I don't want to fight. And then yeah. when she finally senses Tama, it's like it's like oh man maybe we're, let's fight. Well, Ruko wasn't the one fighting though. Yeah, it, it's the most it, annoying, it was, once again the most annoying character in the show. I don't know what this girl's role is. Why is she here? Like, <laughs> why does she exist to be annoying? That's all she does. I don't, I don't get like fucking Chiori and like and like her L rig is. I don't understand them. What is like their purpose? Comic relief. If it were if they were awful, makes no sense. But Tama's back. Things are happening. Yep. And apparently, dubstep is the new is new background music. Right. No, I actually enjoyed that when I heard it. Um. And then uh. Yeah, because it's like when I heard the dubstep, I was like, oh, like we have this now. As, mm, dubstep. Yeah, but I don't. Um, hmm. I, I still don't know what fucking, like, Euless' plan is. Cause, yeah. Because she, like, she has a plan. Of some sort. Of some sort. And now Tama's involved. I think Mayu probably put Tama in Euless' position on purpose. Yeah. Otherwise, that's con- that's contrived. As as as, as, as probably contrived. something of like a punishment, because like she said that like she wouldn't forgive Tama if she left. Yeah. So making her an enemy of Ruko w- w- was probably Mayu's way of 
getting back at, at Tama. Yeah. Clearly saying. For wanting to leave. Yeah, clearly saying that it's like, oh, I like Ruku more than I do you. I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. I'm out. Um, also, funny little note. Uh, because I was really, really bored. <laughs> yeah. And because I was really, really bored, I... I, I, I chose to, when, when the opening came on, I muted it, and I played the Shingeki no Bahama opening theme over it. It was fucking brilliant. <laughs> like I, Okay, that was actually awesome, because I did that too later. <laughs> it was kind of great. Right? And like, it didn't, it didn't, didn't surprisingly like, kind of work. Theory. <laughs> and just because of how it's synced up, I found like a weird theory. Uh, like, at the, at the part where, like, all I want to be is me at the very end of the song. It's my looking at the, the water and his with the reflections of everyone. It's like, okay. I, I guess it really depends on like where you, where you sort of sync the song to, like in your opening video, because that's always yeah. that's always like, uh, you know that that that's always like a control factor that it's or, yeah. or like what, what do you call it? Something you don't have control of. Uh, the, like the, that's always that's variable? always like that's a variable, you know. That's um, that, that's gonna change from person to person depending on when you start it, but. It's like it's like where I did it. Like it was pretty goddamn in sync and pretty awesome. It was the only thing that really wasn't in sync was just like the like the title card. That's about it. Yeah, the title card part is weird in in the actual opening. And I never realized until like I put it on mute to how long that title card actually is. Yes, it's like okay, it's like ten seconds of title yeah, it card. Yeah, it was, it was like just black text on white. Stare at it. And I'm like, like, can't we get like the actual like. Uh, box art. That because we looked at that during the first recording, of how it looked, it looked awesome. Yeah. Like yeah. blue and gold. Yeah, like the the, the, the gold and blue. Was like it was. That look that looks fucking like, sh fucking cool, man. Like that's the shit right there. <laughs> yeah. And actually, we were discussing about it being an actual card game. First recording too. And. Did you figure out the rules to this game? Because I still don't know. No, I haven't. But <laughs> one of the guys on Hummingbird, Orsonius, apparently took a trip to Japan recently and bought, like, Wicross sets. Have they played it? I don't know if he played it, but he made a post on the, uh, like, Wicross thread in the gaming section of the forums about it with an, a, a giant um, picture of all the packs he bought. Why, so why it is an actual buy thing. <laughs> Can you just buy like a starter deck? That's how that. But like four starter decks <laughs> and a lot of booster Yeah, packs. okay, but yeah, you know what? That's like, like the thing is, is like basically the no one plays it outside the, of Japan. The decks in this game are basically the size of booster packs anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, whether you buy a deck, or you buy a fucking pack. Is <laughs> they're the same thing? They're the same thing, right? It's like these games only last like four cards long. <laughs> does anyone in series does anyone know how to play this? I don't know, because it's just like, grow, <laughs> attack, I lost. I'm like, sure you did, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How did you lose? Like, I don't understand this game. What, what's the health system? What's the growth system? Do, are these, like, how, what, 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 are, what are attack cards? What are how? grow cards? What are, sure. <laughs> it's like the old, the jokes from, uh, like, the first Yu-Gi-Oh series. It's like, um, <laughs> they don't know what they're playing, so they should do whatever they want. Like, the writers for the show. Right, no, yeah, yeah, like, that first series, like, did some weird shit. I was, I was like, I was like, I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, Swords Revealing, like, don't actually, like, illuminate your fucking little darkness area, yeah. like, but, alright, why not? <laughs> it's <laughs> taking a few liberties. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, okay, finally, like. This is, like, the third time we've ended up on Yu-Gi-Oh! somehow. Oh, my God. In the three recordings we've had. It's all Drake's fault. I, th I think it's the third time we've gotten a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh in just this one episode. I think we got it on twice. He, he, uh, yeah. No, I was, I was brought it up earlier. Yeah. I didn't bring it up. It was great. <laughs> He's like, yeah, because yeah, Merrick something or other. <laughs> Joey no, and Merrick. Brought it up. <sighs> God, Drake. Yeah, I know. I'm it's because he freaking I'm, I'm, bought I'm just, the original I'm just, manga. Drake, you are I own different. all of the Yu-Gi-Oh manga. All of it. Yes, Drake, does. you are literally Hitler. What, because I, I read Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes. <laughs> Reading Yu-Gi-Oh makes you Hitler, yes. Okay. I have to disagree um, with you on that. I'm much more <laughs> Hitler-y than him. <laughs> yes, as apparent by your Guilty Crown fixture. Uh, you know what? 
You know what? He became Hitler in the second half of that show. <clears throat> he was Hitler. Against all of the lower ranks. In the, in the Third Reich. He was emo emotional Hitler is what he was. That was the Third Reich, that made him, and you know that it. That made him deep. <laughs> you guys can go screw yourselves. I'm never going to stop giving you shit. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think for... the series is okay. I mean, I will I have it's... my full I, I think, explanation I of average. why Guilty Crown is my favorite. I think, I think it's average, but it's still easy to make fun of, regardless. Incredibly easy. Anyways, so yeah, so um, so as uh, uh, three episodes into this season, finally nothing's uh, happened. Uh, nothing's happened, but things are things are like things might happen. Things might happen. Right, We're like a quarter of the way through this, and nothing's happened. I mean, I mean, I mean, some show one third, nothing's happened. Some shows this season had shit happen in the first episode. Some, most of them, like took to about the second. But nonetheless, we're 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 like good. This show is dragging its feet, but it makes it really interesting to talk about because it's like I always like kind of like trying to. Say figure things out. Trying to fi- yeah, I always like trying to like figure things out. Speaking this, of figuring this, this things show. out, we get into a blade work later. Yeah. All right. You know what? We'll get there. What are we all getting right. to? I, next. I next said Log Horizon. That's what we're getting. Next is to. Log Horizon. Okay. Next is Log Horizon. All right. So um, it, it it's funny because this is kind of like the opposite. You know, the, this th- three episodes in finally, and we're all and like this is. This is now the setup episode, you know, rather than being, like, more of an action episode. Like, that was the first two, you know, we jumped straight into to getting shit done. And, and, and this episode uh, took a step back to really set things up, you know, because even, even uh, Shire, like, he, he kind of admitted to himself while they were inside the cave that it's like, we are just walking around in circles. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> we were unprepared for this. <laughs> we're, not, we're not prepared for this. We need to think about this a little bit more, you know, take some breaks, rest. It took them three weeks, and they're not done yet. Yeah. They only finished the first boss, they and they're looking for the other they, bosses. They, they, they finished two oh, bosses. Yeah, two bosses. They're lost. Um, like, Shirway doesn't really know how to deal with Demikis. Morale's going down a little Demi-Glace. bit. Demikis. Mr. Democracy. Yeah. Um... The other I, elf I was leader dude Akatsuki is surprised that the fact that this episode that didn't happen. That's next episode, I think. Yeah, so it looks like next episode. Uh, yeah, Akatsuki development. New new villain getting introduced. No, yeah, the guy who's like who looks like. See yeah. this, this Santa this new, Claus. This new villain though. Yes. This new villain though, I, I think he's an NPC. That's, that's probably what they're going Me with. Me too. It. So and and the thing is 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 like Nessia, what I'm really looking forward to. Is I always my favorite part about season one was the NPC and like adventurer politics, and, yeah, and, and, was, and so and so epi- and so the next episode promising that um that like that like uh, Lanessia would give up peace on on on, on, on yeah she, 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 the, she, she little was giving preview up. it's like wait what <laughs> yeah like 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 just all of a sudden like we haven't had much focus on her then all of a sudden like the preview just 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 sort of like drops her right off and it's like oh man like she's given up on peace between adventurers and NPCs and I was like whoa, whoa. damn what I didn't I should watch the previews <laughs> yeah you should like that was like whoa wait, like, like I was like this is this is heavy so I'm wondering if if like the new NPC villain has has anything to do with that more than likely. Probably. Okay, good. Yeah, so like, yeah, like I said, Lugrise is not much happened this episode. Uh, yeah, not much. But the new rank of skills is kind of interesting. Yeah, that that was pretty neat. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. The teachings. Yeah, I think that's what they called them. Yeah. Apparently, oh yeah, the teachings. Scroll. I forgot about. I that. wonder I if Shiro actually has one. That he does. I wonder if he does because he says uh, he that they does. do exist. He probably just made himself one. That's probably what he was doing. Fucking just guy who can, like, write anything. It's like... Here, I can write you life. (laughs) I'm like, sure. I can write you into a new race. Yeah. I can write you, like, a new race, a new life. Just, like, here. Just, like, here's immortality on a script. Oh, my God. Here's a power-up. It's like... Seriously, how overpowered can Shiro get? And he didn't even even fight. Just, like, I'm gonna make myself a, a scroll that, like, quadruples my power. I am now a tank. Mage. It's like, okay, that's... Now you're overpowered. 
Well, I mean, like, Loud Horizon always makes it work, though, because it's always... It's, 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 it's always, like... Yeah, abusing the game's mechanics. Yeah, it's, it's always abusing the game's mechanics. It's always within reality of Reason. what you think is possible. Yeah. Like, it, like it, it breaks the rules, but it's, at least, it, but at it's least within the rules to break the, way the he rules. Does it. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense how he does it. And not SAO style. Because I could do it. I'm like, no, SAO, you're, you're awful. I hate uh, SAO so much. Do we even have to talk about that? Like, no, we don't. <laughs> like, even that fucking meme. It's like, I already forgot what, what her fucking name was. Asana, what do you mean? Asada sound or something like that. Oh. I don't, oh, God. Yeah, I don't remember what her name is, but it's like, I know that meme was going on crazy for a while, and I was like, this is how little I care about SAO. I don't even remember the fucking, like, crazy fucking dude's fucking catchphrase, all right? Asada sound, or whatever. If that was, that was Every SAO name. villain after Kaiba is a rapist. It's like, can you write good villains? Please. No. No, they're not, you can't even not write good main characters. What rapist. Do you think you can write good villains? Yeah, not everyone is a rapist. Yeah. Please learn that. Uh, All right. All right. Let's not get on an SEO tangent. Yeah. We we yeah, we, we bitched about A One Pictures enough last episode. Uh, oh, we did. What? Yeah, remember? Because we were talking about your lie in April. Oh. Oh God. Yeah. Speaking of which, did you watch episode two of that? Yes. How I was didn't. it? I hated it. All right. Good. I did so pretentious. <laughs> So, I hate how the forums are like, it's the best show of the season. I'm like, the main character is like the most angsty, annoying freaking anime in years. Like, I can't see in color. Yes, you can. You're just being an emo kid. We can clearly see the color from your perspective. You're just being melodramatic. She sees light in such a colorful way. As everyone does. Congratulations. Would she like a medal? That's why I hoped he was. That's why I was hoped he was literally going to be colorblind. It was, yes, it didn't happen. That'd be interesting for. <laughs> that'd be so interesting, like a show that actually takes like colorblindness. I mean, I, mean, I can just imagine. I mean, I don't. I don't think colorblindness is like, is like much of like a is, is is much of a disability. But it's. I mean, it's it'd be different. I can just imagine some like supernatural series where like almost like psychopaths, where ev like everything goes grayscale for that person. Whenever like they reach like a certain like level of like depressed and sadness, I can imagine that would be great for some drama series. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you slowly see the color fade out. Yeah, but they yeah. do that. Like, yeah, I... <laughs> no, like a, a permanent movie. thing, like where the character can no longer see colors when they get that depressed. No, I, I don't know why we're, we're talking about color blindness, but yeah, I know there's, <laughs> I know, I know, like when your psychopath goes low, like some strange shit does happen to people. Um, yeah, but like. Uh, like it, like like you lose like your ability to see colors and you get depressed or something like that. Well, I mean, that, like, I mean that's not like series. what color blindness is like on a biological I know, but level. Talk about for, like a fantasy series, kind of. A, psycho a fantasy like drama series. Psycho whatever. Psychopaths is like more sci-fi though. It's not directly psychopaths. I, I just use psychopaths because it yeah. like, monitors your emotions. <laughs> I just use psychopaths because it monitors emotions. Oh, uh, all right. So, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. Um. So. Info dump. Info dump. Exposition. Terribly, terribly done. All right. See this. See, I don't like this episode not because it's exposition. I don't like this episode because I think it poorly used its time and it repeated oh, itself yeah. way too much. Yeah, well, I think they're going off the assumption that episode zero didn't happen. Yeah, it's like, you didn't watch episode zero, did you? I think episode Fans zero is series. supposed to be an OVA all on its own. Um, so, basically, you're just supposed to buy that separate from the actual anime. So, if, if say, you were to buy the Blu-ray, episode zero is an entirely different Blu-ray on its own. I think uh, that's super... how it would be. Well, I'm not really gonna buy that because, first of all, one Space Night runs in Japan, like on an actual like broadcasting airing schedule. So people saw that when they saw Space Night was gonna premiere on this specific date. And second of all, my problem was was not so much something like Episode Zero. Rin like already explained like the Grail War. Yeah, Shiro. command seals. She 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 said like, here's the command seals. 
Here's what they do, and this is what the grill war is. Now let's go repeat all that again with Kirei. With Kirei. Well, and well, you know what? Also, also, I told you last week, Kirei has a freaking mullet. That was a mullet. Okay, if it's a mullet to you, that's, that. that's fine. Like, I just... But... K- Kirei's mullet is ugly. Dude, okay. Oh my god. So distracting. Okay. Like, I have to I say, at it. least it gave them the excuse to have Kirei walk in a circle. Yes! <laughs> Fucking carrying on family tradition. Yes, yes. yes. my notes. <laughs> Kirei... My notes. Kirei inher- inherited circle walking from Tokiyomi and his father. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is that just something passed down in the Kotomine line? Just randomly walking in circles. Whenever in a church and talking to someone important, (laughs) you must walk in a circle in in the church around that person. (laughs) It's like, is this some cult thing now? Uh, Oh wait, no, you're in the church. Maybe maybe it's just like maybe it's just like one more reference to Fate Zero. Be like, see, maybe your people will get this. This I know this ain't as epic as watching like Avalon connect to like Excalibur, but it's like, hey, circles. We we remember those, right? (laughs) Circles. So. <laughs> um oh okay so 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 like here's 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 the things that kind of started to bother me about about like this because I, I said like last week that it's like this they, like this was what i wanted you know like this is this is the ubw i was asking for then all of a sudden i'm like no this isn't the ubw i'm asking for <laughs> because it's because um the thing is 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 is, is to repeat this stuff so blatantly to shiro oh, make make ma- so made boring. made the episode feel empty to me and, and i mean that in a way where it's like I, I felt like some things that could have been addressed weren't addressed uh particularly things like saber's identity so why isn't yeah. why isn't shiro curious i mean maybe i figured best possible reason it's because ren's still around but i mean like if you're going to repeat yourself so many times throughout this episode handle it better make <laughs> make, make make room for stuff that is Better oh, than this, God. you know. Well, are, you looking, you, at the, are you looking at the circle? We're still shift? going yes. off the fact <laughs> that Shiro is pretty much a blockhead half the time. So, but yeah, that's just so makes that just makes him a bad character. I mean, I was expecting Shiro to be better than this, you know. Well, and you then, know then, what? At least he got an upgrade in the form of clothing that still <laughs> makes him look just as bland as and, before. And he, actually, <laughs> he got an upgrade in the clothing. I don't think he's as stupid. I mean, he's, it's not like. It's 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 not like he was like enthusiastic to go fucking clean like the fucking archery room, right? Like he was yeah. like, like 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 he like like I said, I think it was a little bit more of a sentimental value thing is why he went yeah. loosely loosely presented, but I think that's what they were going for. Um and and, and here I, I can only hope some questions I have that sh- I think should have been addressed in this episode uh as as to uh help catch up audiences on, on, on to other information, you know, um, as, as a better way to use time for this episode, because it's like, you don't have to tell me two or three times the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, at least ask, like, you think in your head, who is Saber, you know, like, why did she seem surprised at the Emiya name? Why did she, like, look at the house, you know, like, when, when I summoned her, you know, before she went off to go fight Archer? Like, like clearly there's some history here. Oh, why, w- why did Kirei kind of step back a bit when you said Emiya? Yeah, and then, and That's then a question like, like, like everyone's like so surprised by the Emiya name, and then, and then also, like we're talking, a lot of this episode was actually spent talking about like spirits and what they can do. One of those topics being spirit forms. Why can why is Saber physical? Why has she always been physical? Like what? Like you can assume that maybe like Shiro isn't good enough, but that would explain why. But in we, Zero, but she yeah, was always yeah. But we know that's not true. And well, actually, in Zero, I think she did like and 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 even and, and even and even and Saber she... doesn't ever address it at any point that it's like I can't take physical form because you're not good enough. Like that's that's the that's the one off line that she gives like in the visual novel, but it's here. It's mm-hmm. like at least bring it up. Like that's all I'm asking you to do is just ask who Saber is. You don't have to answer it. Just ask it and ask why isn't Saber going in spirit form if, if apparently everyone else can do it. I mean. And also, the raincoat looks really fucking stupid on her, and I feel like you could have, like, avoided the raincoat problem of people looking at it and being like, why is she wearing a fucking dumb raincoat? Like, if you just said she can't go in spirit yeah. form. That's what Dean did that, and it made sense. Yeah. Dean had the, uh... She, she couldn't transform... He was too weak to let her transform. 
into the spirit. Of course, so, I, don't think, so, I don't think they want to say that for this series because Shiro is supposedly supposed to get stronger, faster. So yes, but the thing is, he still starts off just at that same level, you know. Yeah, and, and so so I and so. And, and if this series is going to try to do anything along the lines of, like, taking elements from different routes as to make it a little bit more complete instead of having things lacking, you know, because it's like, there's a lot of Saber in the opening, so maybe we should expect her to get a lot of development. You know, so it's like, maybe these questions can be answered in the future. It's just, it's just, I just, I didn't we're like... seeing how... a lot more Shiro, so... Well, yeah, but I mean, Shiro's the main character. I know, but, like, a lot, lot more of Shiro... Uh, as in, as in what? You're talking... Like, I, f I feel that they're gonna try and develop Shiro the most. As, in comparison to, like, previously, like... I, well, I, I'm just I would, going I would off my experience from the original Unlimited Blade Works movie. Yeah, let's not do so... that. <laughs> but, I, but, I do, but I do think Shiro does probably get the most development in the Unlimited Blade Works route, because... He never, he never really develops at all in Fate. And Heavens Feel, he changes, but he he flips on a dime, like so quickly. And 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 here, there, there's a lot more of an ideology clash where, where he's 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 to question things. He still kind of sticks by what he believes, but he, I I prefer him to be more hesitant on it and you know and shake rather than to change so quickly like he does in Heavens Feel without really much questioning at all. Um. So, so, so I, I, I do consider that to kind of be a little bit more, if it's not development, it's it's in favor of Shiro's character having more depth added to him. Uh, I have in my uh, notes that, like, Saberhead was a lot more expressive than a Dean's version. She, from the, from like the four episodes I watched of Dean's, she was just like, no emotions, just stone face the entire time. Speaking of expressions, I still want to know why people say Rin's face looks really weird. Because I know it's, I, I know it's rounder, but I mean yeah. like it's like what? But I think really but I think like it? that's a pro because honestly, like she's never looked like more cuter than this, and I'm and I'm, I don't I'm not saying that like like it like it like she needs to be cute, but I mean like if you're trying to sell her as the heroine for this route, that that's kind of one of those things that you need to do, you know, to get audiences attracted to this character. You know, you you, you need to sell her as, as the cute heroine who's going to be kawaii, make the blush faces all the time. Like, you don't have to, but, I mean, it's, it's it's in their favor for attracting an audience. That and everyone likes Ren already anyways. So why not, you know, just make her a little more likable? Eh. Also, I had that Berserker was a lot cooler in Dean's version. When he, like, jumped down and landed in front of them. Instead of just standing there. Well, he did just stand there in the visual novel, though, and this is supposed to be more accurate to that. Oh, he did? Yeah. So, I remember uh, Dean's version, like, he just, like, jumped down in front of him and made, like, a giant crater. Um, like, okay, that was much more awesome. Speaking of accuracy, though, I mean, I want elements to be taken from the other routes. Because if this is just UBW, then a lot will feel like it's missing. E even as standalone, you'll still feel like a lot's missing. Because it's like all three routes all like kind of borrow information from each other, you know, to, to make this complete experience. Because Fate Night is less of a tale about the Grail War and more of like a tale about like what it means to grow and mature. And, mm. and and so like as a visual novel it works because that's what the routes are, you know. It's it's from Fate to Unlimited Blade Works to Heaven's Feel, it works its way up in telling the different stages of of how you approach ideology. And and if this is just Unlimited Blade Works, then you're only going to get, like, one fraction of that. And, and not just one fraction of the whole experience, but just that fraction of the overall story where, you know, like, everything borrows information from itself to actually make a narrative. Uh, I agree. I mean, I know, I know, Will, you haven't really experienced the visual novel, so you're kind of just probably just having to buy what I tell you. But I'm sort yeah. of still in the middle of the visual novel, so... Yeah. I want to read them at some point, but but, but this definitely is uh, certainly one of the more action-heavy routes. Uh, it's 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 one of the routes with uh, some of the best character development. Um, some things end a little anticlimactically.
But if we can do, but if we can take elements from all the routes, you know, if, if, if that's what we're going for, if we want to develop Saber in the way that she's developed in Fate here in UBW, if we want to develop Shiro the way he is here in UBW, and, and, and maybe because, you know, we had like the whole Gilgamesh and, and Sakura moment talking to each other, maybe we're alluding to some Heaven's Feel stuff too. I don't know. But in all honesty, like, I wouldn't doubt if they if they borrow elements because if this is going to be a 25 episode series uh, along the line, along the same lines as Fate Zero, I don't think UBW alone is is enough to fill that time slot. It was too little for a movie, but I think it's too much for like 25 episodes. You need you need to you need to cram in more. Hmm. Yeah. And and uh, Drake, I believe it's time for a new for a new weekly segment. What's that? Can I guess Archer's identity? Uh, go the fuck on ahead. <clears throat> Were there any hints this episode? No. Okay, the segment's over. I, <laughs> I, thought about, I thought about it all week. I'm like, who is he? Like, I remember like every like every name I could think of. I'm like, I'm, oh. I'm not gonna make you waste your time. There's no more hints. They were in the first two episodes. They were in episode zero and episode one. I don't want to rewatch those. Those are an hour each. But they're well, good. Th- that, that's where that's where your foreshadowing was. Yes, and they're still the best episodes yet. And like that's where the fore- just, that's where Drake, that's where the hint. foreshadowing. One hint. One hint. Yes. I mean, I can't. Two things, like two things, were your hints. The amulet and. Oh my God, he's trying I to can't, figure. I can't oh, say the other one. Oh, too obvious. oh. oh. The there was a hint this episode. Oh my God. Oh. Can't do anything this episode. It doesn't matter. The hint is still there. It's in this episode that lets you know. Is you he just like have to a pay pope? attention. You have to well, pay no, attention honestly, to what things happen. I mean, I know. Ar- I studied Ar- every Ar- scene Ar- Archer was in. Okay. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> What's the, the problem? It's his oh. dialogue, all right? Just he's focused on something. He's focused on one specific thing, and he's always gonna keep fucking saying it. You know, in, killing in, saber. No. Just, but, just let him, let him find out. Just let him find out. You will find out. But <laughs> oh if I give God. you, if I give you the other hint from the first two episodes, because there's two. One's the necklace, and one's something else. It's too fucking obvious. I won't say it. <sighs> All he really says is that he wants to fight. That's you, it. you know what? You know what? He's probably gonna find out in the next couple episodes because well, it, that's it's, when it's, Shiro. It's, it's trying to figure out who that's, he wants that's to fight. That's when things. I'll figure out who he is before the episode. It's trying to figure out who Archer wants to fight specifically. The saber oh. class. Mm. All right, we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> wants to fight Arthur. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I know, Miles, and I know. <laughs> I can't look it up even though I want to so badly. No. Don't. I want to look it up. That's. It's, it's UBW exists for that twist. And, and, and within that twist is, 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 is the best ideology clash that you will get out of Fate Stay Night. Alright, so. It's. I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to rewatch episode one and two and one zero and one. Though. Yeah, I don't think you have to. I mean, no, have no, to... you can just rewatch this episode and maybe you'll get it. But don't, just don't, just just let it let let yourself find out through the natural process. It'll be much better. I mean, I mean, you just, like like literally just just take cliff notes on like what every character does or has done in the past. All right, so and and I don't. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> just, just because, accept it for because, 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 if I try to go any more past tense, like it's just, I can't do it. <laughs> I hate this so much. You have no idea. I mean, from like my clues, I know he's from something Western. I guess in a, cl- I guess the, one, the best. And way, I would know his name if you said the, it. Now. I guess, I guess the best way I can word the second clue is, is like. A character did something before don't, the show don't, started. Don't do it. Don't before do it. the show started. How does that help? Oh How my god! That's all I can tell you. Is, 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 is a character did something before the show started? Yeah, it's called Fate Zero. <laughs> oh my god! 
Alright, alright, so we're uh, done here. We're done here. Alright, we're having fun with Will torturing him. I gotta I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Will game. Trigger episode 3, guys. I will say this. Boring. The budget is much better allocated than episode 1 and 2. Oh, yes, that's why two of my points are about the battle. So, well, I don't like Will Trigger's art in the manga to begin with. And I think no, it, it sucks. Out. But at least we're not getting still frames every three seconds. <laughs> that's my first point. Still frame. Yeah, like there's, like, there's actual, like, action. Like, when swords clash, like, the sword actually clashes. At least we have camera see the sword. It doesn't at look that great, but I mean, it's, it's a movement. But actually, one of my things about the still frame was, there's a few people running up the stairs... It just stays on the stairs for a few seconds, and then the mar and then the uh, I think it's called a marmod is that class of Treon soldier. It's like they ring up the stairs, and this camera sits there. A few seconds later, the marmod shows up. I'm like at, at least it wasn't maybe. for five minutes, like the first episode where he stares out the window and doesn't say or do anything. No, the staring out the window part is fine because I'm used to seeing people stare out the window. My problem with the first episode was like when when like Yuma was like uh, fighting the bullies like in in the restricted area, and like and it, it zooms up on his face. And he like has that squinted eyes, yeah. and it's like it's there, and it that stays got so there. And I was like, "Are you gonna speak? Like, <laughs> you gonna you gonna do yeah, something?" Yeah, you got I mean, serious. Like, did did the video stream pause? Is, is something <laughs> going on? <laughs> but um, I almost thought there was a still frame no, in uh, Unlimited Blade Works because my stream paused. <laughs> yeah, I heard audio like people. I heard audio like people were walking, but no one was there saying anything, so I didn't think it was frozen. But like it was when they were walking no, out of the no, church, that's just, that's, that's and Saber just like stands there and starts walking over to Shiro. Being, being the I thought it was just still frame. There. Therefore, no movement is needed. <laughs> no movement besides. No, like she was walking over to him, and it, it just looked like she was just standing there as we heard people walking. Oh, I'm sorry no, for jumping ahead my... a little bit. Um, I, was, I wasn't very pausing. fond of the ass shake either. I was not. Oh yeah. Like you can make Rin more kawaii. I approve of that. I didn't approve of how how, how low that kind of stooped. And, and, yeah, and I, like, I don't even okay. think it was really like that fan servicey. The problem with it was it was like it's random. It was like yeah, it was, whoa, what? It was random. Like it was it was very out of character for Rin. I'm like Rin's not this eccentric. Like I I I think she's more mature than this than than to kind of flip out and roll around on the floor. Well, not in the visual novel sense, and the fact that we see her just go ahead and use her command seal in the very first place shows that she's immature. But okay. How do I put it? I don't know. Um. Yeah, she's immature, and 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 and, and she's. Uh, and and when we this, have when this, we have Tiger this, this Sensei, felt so when we weird. have Tiger Tiger so, Sensei, that's that's. I think because <laughs> it was it was like a, I think it was because once again, kind of like how I don't like Tiger is is like it's 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 comedy. In in a moment that wasn't very funny. And I don't think Fate at any point ever actually ever asks for comedy. And then, like, whenever comedy does happen, it feels out of the place all the time. And Rin going for, like, a joke here didn't really work all that well either. Yeah. But back to World Trigger. Yeah, back to World uh. Trigger. Um, okay, so I'd, uh... I, I decided to, like, keep a specific count, right? Because it's like, we're waiting for this shit to get good. We're specifically waiting for chapter 14, right? Like, that's when the ratings kicked off in the manga because the show, because the manga started off so slow and then and, and the show was doing the exact same thing. I was really hoping that it honestly wouldn't. It would make things go a little bit faster, but it didn't, and it's staying loyal to how slow the manga is, and I'm like... Well, this is a show right. jump series, so they're going to do every fucking episode and milk it as much as they can. So... <laughs> so anyway, so basically... Waiting to get to chapter 14. This, this episode basically covered the entirety of chapter 4 and about halfway through chapter 6. Uh, chapter 6, there's a lot of focus on Kitora and um, giving a little bit of exposition on who Kitora is. But I, but the episode kind of basically ended before we get into her character. So I'm assuming that's what episode 7 is going to end uh, begin on. Um, so basically, uh, still pretty accurate. Um, this was just a fight scene episode. Uh, thank God it was fully animated. Yeah. Yep. Uh, some manga differences I noticed is, uh, in the manga, 
your flesh is actually exposed when you get when your Tryon body gets cut. There's no blood. It's it's literally just like the flesh and bone, which is pretty weird. Wow. But but it's really it's a little more grittier, I guess, than like the green glitter that flies off you <laughs> when you fucking well, I, get cut here in I the anime. Find, I find that 3D to be pretty jarring when you got too much of it. But it, in this, it wasn't that bad. Um, for it, although like when they do the full body transformation sequence, it's like, wow, this 3D shit looks really good, and then you look see at the that art. shit sparkle. Then you see the art, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, I actually kind of like the sparkles. <laughs> I think I talked to a few people who um who said they didn't like the transformation sequences. Like it looked, yeah, I like, like them. Like like like, 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 like yeah, like it looked too shiny, too sparkly, too kind of out of place. And I was the, like, I don't know, I enjoyed the 3D it. 3D looks fantastic, but as soon as you see. Their face, the actual the 3D, drawn the 3D part, it looks like soldiers shit. don't look fantastic. It's just the transformation sequence. Look fantastic. Um, so anyways, but I think like it's always easier like for any animation studio to make lights look pretty than actual like figures. Yeah. Um, the, the transformation sequence looks looks great. And and also uh, something that I noticed that like this anime didn't do that the manga does too is you know kind of like how like when Yuma got hit by the car like his body cracked. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Well, well, basically, like, um, uh, Osamu's try-on body cracks, too, when, when he took damage in the manga. Um, mm. that, that, that's all I yeah, can really, wasn't there. Yeah, that, that's, all, that's, that's all I can really say about that. Uh, the fight scene, for the most part, was, was basically the same. Uh, it was a good fight scene. It worked. Maybe it was good for World Trigger. <laughs> the the little explanation good for World Trigger. Bit, the little explanation bit where they were talking about the Trion that that kind of pissed me off a little bit because it's like uh, yeah in the okay. manga that was two panels covered it twice it, it, yeah and then they did it at the end too it, by the way does this show even have an ending nope what the fuck <laughs> yeah I noticed that too it didn't strike me until this episode but I noticed it. I was like, no ending sequence, which I don't mind, because even like, if you remember, at like, least watching... they're bringing out as much as they can. Yeah, they're bringing out as much as they can, because like, you remember, like Shin Sakaiuri had like no opening, and I appreciated that about it. Like, this has no ending. It didn't. I'm cool with that. No, Shin Sakaiuri never had never had an opening. All right, so it was basically a fight scene, right? There wasn't much to say about this episode besides the fight yeah. scene was good for Will Trigger, except um, Yuma can activate other people's triggers, which is well, no. See, the thing is, it's not that Yuma can activate other people's triggers. It's it's that a trigger is the it's a device. Like it's, it's literally like it's it's it's, a it's, 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 a, it's an on and off switch. That's all it is. It's literally turn lights on, turn lights off. And the thing is, it just depends on what bulb you're turning on, right? So Yuma picks up the trigger, he turns his trigger on, and because just he has more try on, he just has better abilities. That's no like uh, Osamu also said that using someone else's trigger can kill you or something. He said, I he said think the team, he like, was more don't use like, it, it'll kill hey, you. no, my trigger's really fucking weak. Don't try oh. it because you're going to mm. get wrecked because it yeah, sucks. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm still a trainee, you know. What the fuck is that noise? That's, that was okay, a motorcycle. Gotta, gotta fuck, yeah, I was about to say, it's like, you got a fucking Harley going on outside here. <laughs> hey, at least it's like one of the rednecks that live near me. They drive by in their ma massive trucks. And you can hear them from, like, the south. Oh, my God. I'm going to the south. You can't hear it in my voice, but I live in the south. I'm, go I'm going to the south, but I'll be in the country, so there'll still be no noise. Mm, lucky man. <laughs> no, yes. no, in the no country, the, the big burly trucks go fly in and shit. Well, I mean, I live on a lake, so probably the most you'll be hearing is, like, boats. Maybe. So nonetheless, all right. So I, there's, there's something I wanted, something I try to keep getting at without having to like resummarize our thoughts because we keep getting off topic. So the um, what I found really hilarious this episode, and I don't know if you guys noticed it too, but was I the only one who thought that like when Arashiyama was running to his siblings was the best animated moment in this entire yeah. series yet? Yeah, it was. That was kinda sad. It was. It's like oh, that's kind of depressing. It's really kind of depressing. Uh, also, when the Arashiyama squad was going towards the thing, I'm pretty sure it was stick figures when they were jumping from building to building. It was horribly... It was, looked horrible. I don't specifically remember the stick figures, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. It looked like stick figures. 
uh, like I said, I can only hope that the budget gets uh, properly more dispersed when when the, when the show's manga gets show, good. Yeah, like when it gets better. When everyone's yeah, said, like, oh, hey, this has like, a decent plot, here's some like, more like money. The thing is, like, yeah, I mean, the, there, there was always a plot here. It, it's just so slow because according to... According to the editor, that the author wanted to make this series more of a mystery series, but it was going so slow that they just sped things up into an action series, you know, which kind of became Chapter 14. Um, and if, if that's the case, fine. Because, you know, like I said, a couple weeks ago, there was that interview in Shonen Jump that I read, and yeah. according to him, like, that's kind of the idea they were going with. Audiences didn't take it to it too well, and I wish they would just adapt this anime to be more like the la- the series that it is later than the way it started. But, um, hey, we'll open up on Katora next episode, so hopefully we can get some good discussions out of her. Because I really like Katora, personally. Hopefully. Um... All right, so, Akatsuki no Yona. Yep. All right. Ooh. Not much happened. Um, well, not, mu- not much happened, but I think a lot got accomplished regardless. Yeah. Yeah. A good amount of stuff got uh, done. First of all, this episode, despite it being kind of in nothing but flashbacks of the children, I think this episode so far has told us more about King Ill than any of than any of the previous yes. two. Yes, yeah. Like King Ill is kind of awesome. Yeah, like like uh, clearly, so there's a certain degree yeah. to him that, that that puts business before family. Because when Yona got sick, it took him yeah all day, it took him like a few days. It, yeah, it took him it took him a few days to visit her because it's like he was like he was like I got stuff at the castle to do, you know. Yeah. But, and, like, and then he went like when he caught the sword. Clearly, in some way, shape, or form, either he's like slightly, um, either he's like slightly used to pain, or he's not afraid of it. Which, yeah. which, which does open up in my mind a little bit more that maybe he could. he did kill yeah, yeah. Maybe he, Suwon's dad. But it's it, like it also shows that hey, he has earned the respect of his followers, at least the ones not really. That at, at he, he has, he has, he has dedicated him. followers. He has well, truly earned ones, their yeah. respect. I don't think he's earned it, but I, I, I think like we know something that the people don't. Mm. It's like uh, we know we can respect him, but not everyone else does. Everyone still considers him a coward. Hawk's the only person that ever saw him actually stand up and and, and fight something. Yeah. So far as we know. Yeah, for what from what we've seen, Hawk is the only one who's ever seen him do anything awesome. Um, can I just say a few things? I, I got some notes about just the whole show in general. Um, I have to say that the OST for the show is quite overpowering sometimes. Um, just sometimes you just literally can't hear what they're saying. Yes. And that scene at the forest near the end. It was so obnoxious. Yeah. I don't have that problem. I don't have that problem. I'm just saying. I don't. Yeah. I I did. <laughs> um, and then for the opening, I was actually pretty surprised that there's no vocals for it. it we've discussed that a few times. Yeah, and we've, I, we've, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, we've discussed it. I liked I don't it. Like it. I like it a lot. Um, I like the song. I don't so much like the opening animation itself, or at least when it when it when it kind of tries to pick up to like the action bits because it act- makes good background music, but be- because not the, as an opening. The action in the opening is. It's literally just still frames. Like that's that kind of bothers me because I actually really enjoyed the uh, the action in episode two. So it's like to have the action in literally this opening be nothing but still frames felt kind of disappointing, especially when the I mean it's like an old like Chinese oil painting, right? When the music gets epic, Um, but I actually think it's it's a really powerful moment. Um, Or I think like the the music sinks really well in in the opening to the point it sends it sends chills down my spine just a little bit when when we when we see Suan with with the crown. Yeah, and, 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 and like in like you, you know like his glaring evil eyes, and like the music kind of goes to like that. Dun, da, 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 he is, dun, da, da, he da, is the yonder in the window. Like I was, I was, I was like, I was like, yeah, like 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 this actually establishes Suwon as something to be frightening. The song, I think the song does a really good job as an opening. It's good background music, but not an opening. I yeah, it, it made like me, it. it made me kind of think. Like the first time I saw it, I was kind of wondering, like, 
is this like a bunch of flashbacks? <laughs> That's oh that's what I thought. We almost thought it was legitimate. Well, considering it was a flash forward to the opening, I can see how that happened. Yeah, I I'm like, are we going through time skips right now? <laughs> well, that's there was one at the end of the episode, uh, though. Apparently, yeah, I mean, like that's kind of what I didn't like about the first two episodes was just how many time skips were going on. Every episode has a time skip at the end of the episode. I'm, I'm positive. Did, uh, this, uh, did this episode have one? Cause I don't really it, yeah, it's it, like it had her narrating. It was a subtle one. It had her what narrating for the oh, end. Yeah. I guess, but I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't, like, I, don't really, I don't really time count skip. that. And then there's like, the last day thing one of him getting her out of there. It's like they've been there for weeks. Like, wait, what? Like it was like five minutes, five seconds. Ago, it was day one. You guys had just gotten away, and she was taking a nap. And now it's been like weeks, apparently. And you're running out of food. I'm like, wait, what? I, th- I guess they. I guess they've been staying by the river for a while. Maybe I didn't even notice that it was been a time change. That was still, like, the same day. They just got to move. Yeah, like, like I, I thought it was the same day, too. I don't think it should have taken her as long as it did to finally kind of, like, wake up from her, like, you know, little nightmare going on. Yeah. Well, um, at least we got a time skip for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be, that'd be an awful. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that's entirely true. Uh, it's, so I, I'm okay with it because it didn't feel like a long time. Um, I thought, like, one episode is really all you needed to say that, like, oh, look how broken she is. But, like, Hawk's... You know, he's gonna save her and she's gonna wake up from it eventually and, and she was starting to do that especially when the snake bite happened and she's like oh, yeah. oh man like I all my freaking out has all of a sudden put Hawk in danger that's gonna be significant I know it I will say this Yona reminds me of Kagame from Inuyasha like greatly I feel that her character is greatly taken from her never watched Inuyasha well, there's there's certain aspects about how her character reacts. It's very similar, um, and then also the fact that she uses a bow and arrow. Uh, <clears throat> it, it it just feels kind of obvious that they're taking from that character. It, it just feels like I'm watching the same person. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I never watched a new Yasha, so I wouldn't know. I haven't f- completed it, but from what I had seen, that, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, something, something else that I took kind of took out of this episode, um, or took away from it was, this is like the funniest episode of the two yet. Like there was a lot of comedy here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it was comedy, like like, like the flashbacks. I like I thought it was funny how General Mudok actually wanted to be addressed one moment as grand as grandfather instead of what General. That's M- what you're Mudok upset about. <laughs> no, we thought it was funny. I know, I know that I was repeating what he oh, said. Oh, oh. So that's what you're so upset about? Me call it <laughs> me not calling you grandpa. <laughs> you like insulting the king. Mm-hmm. Well, since yeah, someone not decided to leave <laughs> for a second. Uh, hmm. And like, uh, <laughs> apparently yeah, Suwon not- has some time-sensitive plan, cause he he mentioned like that it was he had to do it what? now, cause what is that? Where'd you get it from? Deal with finding Yona or something like that. Jesus I, I Christ! That's the case. They couldn't wait. I think well, actually, like hurts um, because it's it seems pretty obvious the fact that he still loves Yona. Uh, yeah. No. Otherwise, because you can't just go completely <coughs> heartless after knowing someone for that many years. Yeah, and that's seeing, impossible. If they did that, I'm just gonna call bullshit. What were you two saying? I'm sorry, I took off for a moment. I tried the worst pepper of my life. Like I'm us- I eat spicy food all the time. <laughs> just kicked my ass just from licking it. <laughs> just from licking it. Wow. I don't. I don't know what this was, but my stepdad bit it, and like. And, and, like, he freaked out, right? So my parents called me up here, and they're like, Drake, you need to try this. And I'm like, try what? And they're like, you need to try this pepper. And, they're like, my mom was like, don't bite it. And my stepdad was like, bite it. And then my mom was like, just lick it. And I was like, all right, well, I mean, it's a pepper, right? So I just I just licked it just to sort of taste test it because I don't really like peppers. But, oh, my God, this is killing me right now. <laughs> this, fucking, this fucking pepper. It burns! <laughs> <sighs> so so okay so go on you you were talking about I guess, I guess we have someone who just visited the 
pepper dentist today. Mm. So. All right, so he's no, going to okay, be so, so speaking in an. I, 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 I overheard you guys say it takes a long time to get over stuff, right? So Suwon probably was, clearly was the conversation. Yeah, yeah. About how we think he 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 didn't want to kill her. Uh, I just earlier. think that he doesn't want to kill her, and at this point, if they well, can't well, he, find he her, said, he said they had something else to do. So I think that's more so a priority. Yeah, yeah. Like time sensitive plan. Is but I don't, I, I don't think it's a time sensitive plan, but. Because well, he said something like no, he said he said he said like this has to be done immediately. Yeah. Well, probably the fact that he has to gain the support of everyone in the castle. I would say, let mm-hmm. everyone know that hey, the king's dead. Um, uh, I'm new king now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what's gonna happen. But he's got to be able to tell him because if he puts it off for too long. No, no, Everyone's going to be like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think too many people are going to miss him. <laughs> yeah. They didn't seem to have that high opinion of him. Mm. But, um, okay, so there was some stuff I wanted to say that I kind of took notes on that I thought was was sort of breaking something of, like, a cliche barrier. What? As far as well, one, the old man wanted to be addressed as old, right? So it's yeah. like, so it's like, General Mudok, Mudok he was like, you know, you, you know, it's like generally old people be like, "I'm still fucking young, you, I'm just, you whippersnapper," you know. Just and here's he's like, he's like, Drake, "No, I'm Drake. old, I'm old. Never do that again. Call me grandpa." You know, and I'm, I'm like, "All right, so like, this guy's great." Yeah. Um, the humor in this episode was legitly very, very, very funny. I, I enjoyed every second of it. So even some stuff, like, stuff, even even some stuff, I got like laughs out of without even meaning to. Like the like the scene where um where Yona stepped on Hawk. Like I thought <laughs> I thought when she threw her arms up and like you heard like the like ugh sound, like I thought she like punched Suwon in the face, but that wasn't it. And I was like, Oh, okay. So I kinda laughed twice. Dude. Um, when when um Hawk made fun of her while they were sleeping and she just punched him right in the head. I was yeah, like, was "Ow!" Like, it's just like it was funny though, because like, it's like it's like she's she's you know it's like the, the, the friend dynamic amongst the three of them feels so great. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's like I like these kids being rowdy. You know, they feel like children. It was, it so, was crazy and evil. So when you make everyone. when you make fun of each other, you know, you're probably gonna hit each other fucking too. And it was yeah, and it was great. And it was it was hilarious. Like I really enjoyed these kids. I'm liking kid characters in a show. Like I never thought that was be possible. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember the the one random episode of Ren going around in Fuyuki City? Oh yeah, like to- totally the episode? best episode of Fate Zero. Um, and and, and so- at the time they killed the giant and and pl- plant water monster. Yeah, it's fucking the fucking Cthulhu, not Cthulhu monsters looking thing. Um, and something else I want to something else I want to say, and, and and this was probably my biggest highlight of the whole episode was like this show. Got her naked. Yes. And it was handled. I, I, I love that scene. By far. The best, best I've ever seen that handled. Best I've ever seen nudity handled. Like, it was. I, I've seen it handled. It was so well. maturely done. It was done well. Yeah, I, I agree. But I don't think that's the only case of it. I, I've seen some stuff where it's like, okay, yeah. I've, I've seen job. nudity in anime before where it's not fan service yes, but it's. But I've never, I've never seen characters you know, you know react to it that re- well re- react to it that well right so she's naked because she's in the bath and because she's not used to the wilds she doesn't know what leeches are hawk takes full responsibility in getting the leeches off very maturely yeah. you know he doesn't gawk out her body or anything like that he, he blushes a little bit but only like after he's done you know he's, he's like because now i've taken care of you you're okay put on your clothes and and i was i was like this is like her her being naked in in a way, added to like her sensitivity. It was it was it was it was kind of a strength to to the to that plot point of of like she's still not used to the wild yet. You know, she's still things can attack her. You know, in in, in the most unlikely of moments, including bathing. Yeah, yeah. Ah oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Akatsuki and Oyona, dude. Of the th- of the th- of the five shows we're reviewing, this is easily my favorite. No, I wouldn't go that far. My favorite's probably of the five things we're reviewing. Of the five things, Blade Works currently. It, it, it might fall a bit 
because... I mean, I'm, uh, when it comes to Yuna, I'm still liking, like, both Shingeki no Bahamut and Parasite just as much. Yeah, I haven't watched any of Bahamut yet, but Parasite Dude, is fucking Dude, watch awesome. it, it's amazing. I, I have a feeling that I just want to plow through it all at once. That's the thing. The best opening of the season. I, I guess you could, but it's actually, I, I saw it's the actually opening, very, I it's very epi- it's a very episodic, actually, so you, you probably would get uh, just a good experience as a marathon as you would watching this week by week. I don't like think the, that it has the best opening, though. No. <laughs> what is the best? What is the best? Um, yeah, what has the best opening this season? I want to say Chaika. No. Chaika I, season one's opening was great. I season know. two is like, eh, it's okay. More of the same. Um, but not as good. It was the first time. Not watching it. Didn't like season one enough. Dark Kenna from season one was great, but... I don't know what season two is called. Opening is called, but I don't, I don't care for it. The only other contender for best is Parasites. I don't like Parasites opening that much either. Shut up, Drake. No one cares. <laughs> it's like, like you don't like, like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Shut up. My 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 favorite openings this season probably boil down between World Triggers and Bahamuts. World Trigger, Triggers is great. I uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's not one of my favorites this season. But like the more I I listen to Wicross's opening, it just oh, and the full version a little bit more. The full the full version of um, the full the full version of uh, Gold Trigger's opening actually came out not too giri, long giri. ago. Yeah, Geary Geary. But when I listened to it, that dubstep breakdown took me by surprise. But at the same time, fucking blew my mind because I don't like it's dubstep. A dubstep breakdown. I don't like I don't I don't like dubstep, but I like dubstep when it's when when it's when it's included as. as Yet as, you enjoy Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas occasionally. But I mean, I don't like like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas though is it's more so auto tune than it is dubstep. I mean, I like I like. Also, like, you like database, didn't you? Database doesn't really have dubstep in it either. A little bit. That's that's in the actual song, not in the yeah. Opening. The actual song is a, a b- good bit of dubstep. But he he has the actual. It's song, it's bl- so. it's blended. Well, is what I'm saying. I like dubstep mm-hmm. when it's blended. I don't like listening yeah. to the actual genre itself. Dubstep on its own is kind of bad, but when it's blended well, I like it. And so I think World Trigger's opening blends dubstep well. Just wanted to throw that out there. Just saying. Are you just trying to get us over the two hour mark to keep it consistent? Because we're at, like, 158 at this point. 158? All right. 159. Well, we, well, we, oh, my we, recording's a little earlier than yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, because right, we're, we're timing this shit. We're timing this shit accordingly to how we how we do things. Yep. Which is probably actually, like, not all that professionally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, um... You know, I feel a little upset because I kind of wanted to say more about yeah with Mushi Petal, but me too. But there wasn't just wasn't much to talk about. The, the, yeah, we talked about it for an hour. What are you talking about? I know, but like that was like, <laughs> but we only managed to go that long by talking about specific characters. Yeah. Series wise, not the overall series. Se- series wise, it's just it's just a shonen. Yeah. I mean, that's all I can tell you. About you like, riding bikes. It's, it's a it's very a well put together bikes. shonen. It's well put together. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. But I'm, it's just another. Shonen. Yeah, I don't. I'm, 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 not, I'm not gonna say shonen as 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 if it's if it's it's a bad thing. I like the shonen genre. I like the shonen genre because it has a lot of heart to it, and 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 sometimes I like just chilling back, relaxing, and just being like, yeah, go win. I prefer seinen series if I'm gonna get between either of them. Well, well, I mean, I I definitely choose seinen series too. But oh, I by li- seinen, I mean like fighting seinen series, like between a shonen like action combat series. And a seinen one, seinen ones every time. Well, actually, it depends. Do you count like Full Metal as a seinen? Um, depends on which one. Brotherhood. Shonen. It's shonen. You think Brotherhood's shonen? It's shonen. Brotherhood got pretty dark. Yeah, but it's still shonen. shonen. Y- if you watch it, got it, dark. It's shonen, shonen can get dark. Right. Attack on Titan is dark. It's still shonen. If you're if you're looking for a seinen action manga. Go read Set Man. That that you should be reading. <laughs> Don't watch the anime. Punch Man sometime soon. Apparently, that's supposed to be getting something. I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about One Punch Man. Yeah, um, so did I. Like, I'm 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 really interested in reading it. It's just I have a really, I, 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 I just 
Mm. I, 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 for, I forget about it is the problem. It's like I always just remember hearing about it. I'm like, oh yeah, One Punch Man. I should read that. And then I move on to something else. Apparently he kills every enemy with one punch. Apparently. Ah, gee, I wonder why he's called One Punch Man. I know. But regardless, from what I can tell, the series is still really epic anyways. Like, I, I guess maybe it's how he gets to the punch? I don't know. I will, I, I will, I, yeah, like, I can't, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but I'm interested, in case any of you are, you know, getting giggity about getting a new One Punch Man fan to talk about someday, talk with someday, you know. Maybe. I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I do, I do have a friend I know in real life who is trying to get me into it. I'm looking at the circle gif again. Oh my god, stop looking at the circle gif. <laughs> that gif's amazing. It is. It's just fucking in circles. It's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son. Alright, so... Wait, 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 we need to find our next show. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. God, I, God damn it, well, I told you we were supposed to talk about this before we recorded. What? Hey, that's your own fault. Oh. Alright, thankfully, Miles already threw out that he would like us to watch Outbreak Company. Yes! I watch that. Cool. I'm cool with that. I would rewatch it. It's that good. Uh, I might not rewatch it. I might skim back over it. It was a good show, I agree. I have, I have not seen it, so this will definitely be something uh, new for me. I mean, if I... I can, I'll probably think through, like, read through the back of the TV tropes page. And after dropping get my notes from to... there. Mm. What? What? Because, um... Because, um... Uh, Outbreak Company is, is feel, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes, but it's good and feel. This guy who yeah, okay. feel was actually budgeted last year. Well, I, I mean, okay, so so so, so I'm, I'm I'm accepting that, right? Because I just want to I just want to say, War guy or season two, War Amete, or however, whatever the fuck the acronym is for that fucking future mystery field show that's going on right now. What are you talking about? Oh, Ushino. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, I, 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 I think the short yeah. version is Waramete. But nonetheless, I want to say... Ushino Mirai wo Motomete? It's like a tongue twister. Ushino Warata Mirai wo Motomete. Yeah, right. I'm not saying it. Links. I said, I said, yeah, I said it last more. episode. Um, Okay. I really enjoyed episode one. I dropped this episode. Like, I dropped the show <laughs> in episode two in like the first five minutes. I was like... It was like, so, okay, so you found, like, your, like, unconscious, amnesiac, naked girl in your school addict. What's the thing you're going to do? Take her to the school club room or, like, our club room. And I'm like, of course. And then, and then. <laughs> like, There's no way to do with it. And then, yes. then like, and then, like, we're not done yet. It's like, what should we do with her? Oh, let's just take her home. And I'm like, brilliant. <laughs> the English title is In Search of Lost Future. Okay, so In Search of Lost Future, right? So, like, it's like. You're, you're treating like this. Yes, like, Warmete is the abbreviation. So you're treating this like this girl that came out of nowhere, like she's like she's no big deal, and and, and, and like and I'm just like, no, no, you people need to be worried. Do something about this, you know. Contact an authority figure, and even when the two siblings in the show actually talk to their parental figure, which is like the older sister, you know, like in the next morning they're like, oh man, you know, it's like you you found some like unconscious, like naked, like girl who has no memory well i hope you do something about that and i'm like you're the one who needs to do something about that (laughs) you are the responsible adult figure what are you doing nothing that's what like basically at this point they've given you so many clues i figured i figured out the mystery of the show already i I don't want to figure out the mystery i'm done with it (laughs) it's like it gives you like enough clues like by the end of episode two you can figure it out by episode three if you haven't figured out yet you're an idiot i like, if you haven't figured out episode 3, you, you need to get help. It is maybe that painfully obvious. I mean, it doesn't really say who, like, the girl is, but it's like, that's why she's there, and what she's doing. And, like, why she's there, and like, well, that was easy to figure out. Yeah, so, so okay, so this was my very, very terrible, bad first impression with Studio Feel. Um, I haven't seen any of the other crap they made. I don't want to look at it. It all looks like Outbreak crap. Company. Yeah, but but Outbreak Company does seem like it was really good. Accept- does seem like it'll be the exception to the rule. And you know what? I will give every writer, every studio, everything I hate about anime. You know, when it comes to like the behind the scenes stuff, there's there's always been at least one good thing to come from everything I hate. You know, so it's like this just might be Studio Feels. You know, di- diamond in the shit. And diamond in the rough is the <laughs> phrase. Diamond in the shit. And, and then, 
<laughs> and, Say the phrase right, Drake. But it's so much shit. <laughs> diamond in the rough. Diamond. No, diamond is not unbreakable. Wait, no. Diamond is not crash. Diamond in the rough. Diamond does not crash. So diamond in the rough. You don't get that joke, do you? No, I'm nope. sorry, I don't. Diamond does not crash was when a group of Chinese guys decided to translate JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 into English. Mm, how'd that go? Think about this. Chinese translating Japanese to English. Sounds That's wonderful. all you need to know. The translation Part 4, which is Diamond is Unbreakable, is the official title, as Diamond is not crash. What the fuck? Wow. Diamond is not crash. Okay. All you need to know. You know, for the for, by the way, also, you know how um, uh, Tomical Love Story uh, got got its first set of English subs yesterday. They were awful. Mm. Like, like I like I heard they were awful, and like I and, and when I went to go to like Nya to like download it, like the, the turn was gone. And I whenever I hear Nya, like for tours, like I should mention like an old timey villain, like Nya. Yeah, like, yeah. is like the first is like the last place I look for. Them. That, that's like. It's like the only place I go for to- if I'm if I'm gonna torrent something I'm gonna yeah no it's not, I I go I go to, I, I go to Nya pretty often actually usually for music though but nonetheless so I went there right and and I looked at it and I clicked on the torrent and then the torrent was gone and and the <gasps> specific reason for the torrent being gone they said that we removed it because it's like we don't support like subtitles that are awful or something like that <laughs> and so I was I was like wow these subtitles are that bad so I had to so I clicked a few links in Google and I found like a magnet. And I can't really explain what magnets are very well, but I guess it's like... like I'm surprised that it, it, it's, um, it's like downloading troll torrent. subs got <laughs> done for them then. Yes, yeah, I, I guess it's like I guess like a magnet's like downloading torrents, but like through like a different source or something, like, or like through a different method, whatever. Right, so I finally got it, right? And it came with the actual movie and like the ASS file. And I'm like, before I watch this, I need to look at these subs. So I opened up the ASS file, and when I read these, I was like... Nope, 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 nope. The whole lot of nope. This is just the nope made in the nope factory. Else, like often, nope. Where? Just give us a line, Drake. Give us a line. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know, what, actually, find it. yes, I gotta find it. I'm, and then and, and I copy and pasted, uh, two of them, two of them back to back, uh, on my hummingbird profile. So I'm just gonna go straight there. It should be like the first or second post. This is gonna be amazing, right? All right, this better be good. Okay. I think I saw that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, 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 so. Here, here's like these two lines that were like that were like within like the first couple minutes, where it was like, "Princes mochi making aren't using hip at all." Dara, you're rude against Prince. <laughs> I'm assuming these lines Wait, are supposed to be. What? <laughs> that's what he's. That's what they did. <laughs> I'm assuming this. These, these lines are supposed to be. The prince's mochi making skills, or like, like, like he he isn't using his hips to improve his mochi making skills or something like that, you know. But it's like it's like prince's mochi making aren't using hip at all. Jeez. And and then and then it's like these are amazing. And then they're like Dara, you're rude against prince. I'm like, do you mean like you're rude to the prince? Like, what is prince doing here? I don't. I just, I don't know why Prince is here. Why is Prince here? <laughs> like, he should not be here. It's just like it's, it's why is why is Prince with a capital P unless his name is actually Prince? I don't think his name was Prince. I don't particularly recall. Um, but I know he is he is a prince. He's he's a prince seeking a wife. But ever watched uh, Tomical Market? But, yeah. yeah. I'm not the it, biggest it's, Kyo it's, Annie fan. Yeah, I'm not either. It's Kyo Annie being Kyo Annie. Like, like my first Kyo Annie show was kind of amazing. What was it? Kyokai no Kanada. I don't know what mine was. Oh, that should be all I need to say about how awful it is. No, no. You want to know what yeah. mine was? Kayon. No. Mine was Haruhi. Free. Oh, you poor man. <laughs> you poor it, man. It wasn't that poor bad. man, feel bad for that me. Bad. <laughs> I don't know where the popularity for our we came from. I fucking hated it. I was like, this bitch needs to die. And like, now, I hate her. You must really hate her, then. Oh, I really hated her. There's a lot of people love her. I'm going to have to watch it at some point for my yearly check for my challenge this year. Where I'm going to watch everything in an airing season for all four of the year. Starting in winter. 
No, there's 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 very few anime characters that I hate enough to the point I want to kill. She's one of them. So you want to kill Ari? Yes. Don't you hate it? I don't wow. really hate anyone else in it. I just hate her, but she's the one who kind of makes the show, and therefore I kind of hate the show. Because mm. everyone does what she says. That's if she was if she, if she wasn't in it, then it would it would be a lot better. But she no, nope, everyone does what she says. She always gets her way. She she always well, wants isn't like she the, supposed to she, be she god? always wants the dumbest shit from isn't everybody. Isn't she supposed to be god? I guess. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, sort of. I guess that's why like everyone like, but like she doesn't control them. Like everyone does like what she wants to keep her happy. Like, it's like if they don't keep her happy, the world gets destroyed or something like that. That's what I've heard. Yeah, but that's basically the the, the 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 bottom line of it. But it's like when she makes examples, like she's upset that everyone in the world brushes their teeth because she wants to be an individual, so she should be the only one brushing her teeth. I'm wait, like, wait, 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 I'm, what? What the? Wait, what? This actually happened. This, this this she was talking about this when she went to go like to a baseball game with her dad, and she's like, oh man, other people enjoy playing baseball. Like that totally blows my mind. I'm not an individual anymore, and I'm like, all right. You're you're pushing it, you bitch! Like I can't enjoy baseball. I can't brush my teeth. What else can't I fucking do? <laughs> this is like your Halloween rant all over, kid. <laughs> that was an amazing rant, by the way. Just when you went ballistic about Halloween, <laughs> best thing ever. We're, we're stretching this. Thankfully, we'll have some stuff to cut out thanks to Hot Space Day Night Spoilers. So oh, yeah. So it's not really... Quite a few it's, things It's not to really two out. hours and, like, 15 minutes like we kind of got right now. But, um, yeah, so it'll probably be about two hours. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, thanks thanks for joining us on the podcast, guys. Anyways, I was going to say, before I went off on a lot of tangents, Outbreak Company, hopefully it'll be a feels-good show for me, and hopefully maybe it'll hopefully raise my I'll... opinion of them hey, in hey, time. Hey, this, think of this. In, in, in time for Origairi Season 2. Although they haven't done anything good since then. Or before. <laughs> Apparently they did do one good one before, but it was like half decent. At least Which in show? terms in terms of animation it was good. What? Um fucking scissor hair show that I liked really That was them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Scissor hair show? Scissor that hair I liked? yes, no, I know I know I know I know what he's talking about. I know what he's Downside Boonry No Crime Edge. Oh. I yes. heard about that show. Fucking and apparently that, it gets referenced a few times was, in... Um, that show was pretty fucking ridiculous. <laughs> wait, I think it should get referenced to some of the Outbreak Company. That was not Feel. No? Go Kumi. Whoever they are. Okay, then it's the same It's the same light novel author. Yeah, it's the same author, I think. Because I think they, they took from that in the show. That would and make a little bit in a couple of parts. In Outbreak Company, I remember a few times they made fun of the the writer, but the writer was the same guy who wrote Outbreak Company. Mm-hmm. So it's a bit of self-deprecating humor. All right. Well, uh, that was fun. <laughs> and two hours. Ah, of- <laughs> uh, yeah, outro. Um, this this is the part where I always fail at. Never never been good at these. Uh. You, you want to try one, Miles? Okay. I since will. you're the guest and all, uh, I'll I'll try one. Since I since I am the guest, thank you everyone for joining us for this podcast. Um, looks like we'll be doing Outbreak Company next week. I uh, do. You want to join name... us for that again? Still? <laughs> sure, I will. Now that I realize how much crazy and fun this podcast is when someone flips over flips out over halloween candy on fridays oh guys realize <laughs> this is gonna be a pain to edit <laughs> we have three audio tracks to deal with my name is well, miles as long as you seek them we're all gonna be talking about the same stuff <laughs> my name is miles i don't want to deal with three audio tracks and the suffering I'll one over there is will <laughs> That's gonna be awful. And Will, yeah. who is the person who will be suffering through the editing, hey, I'm making you upload tears. this. If you're, gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna be a constant member, you're uploading. Got it? Okay. If, yeah, if you're gonna your godly you're, internet. No, he, his internet is actually six times faster than mine. It is. It's twelve times faster than my internet. And not to mention, my computer is probably ten times faster than both of yours. But. That's a different thing entirely. 
And then we have Drake, the king of waifus. So, also the kangaroo man, according to a Skype profile yes. picture. Yes. Wait, king what? of waifus. And wait, 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 the wait, sexy wait, wait, kangaroo what? man. Yeah, my Skype profile picture. I, I didn't hear you say Skype. I thought you said something else. Oh, no. You're probably a picture on Hummingbird's uh, uh, Rage of Bahamut, or Shingeki no Bahamut Genesis. All of the links for the anime that we've sort of reviewed over and Doing talked so about today will be down in the description below. They always are. And our Hummingbird our... links will be down below along with our channels. They always are. Have a nice have one channel. night, day, Whatever existence. the hell you time have, ha, have a nice in. time zone that you are currently experiencing. Have a nice existence. <laughs> that's, that's it. Bye, guys. Bye. Goodbye.